welcome everyone to our Age of Sigmar Battle Report today. I am Luca from MiniWarGaming.com, joined by my returning guest, Kendrick, and we are doing 2,000 points of Soulblight Gravelords, a list I've been wanting to play for quite a while. I've just been very reserved about it. And the Slaves to Darkness. We play and call it work. Mini War Gaming's Age of Sigmar Battle Report. Let's take a look at my Soulblight Gravelord list. Very excited to play this. I love the Soulblight Gravelords. They're obviously my favorite army in Sigmar. Love vampires. Uh, I just try to rein in when I play them because uh, I always ask my guests what they want to play against and it's always up to them. To no one's surprise, a lot of guests do not like to play against Soulblight Gravelords because they deal with it quite a bit at home. Luckily today, Kendrick has never actually played against them before, so he requested that I play a zombie-themed list for everyone today. Now, overall, I'll be running one battle regiment here with the Vampire Lord on the Zombie Dragon leading the entire force. Uh, command traits, these are all spicy for the Legion of Blood here, which I've never played before, so trying it out for the first time. And uh, Doomed Minions, I think, is what I'm going to go for with this character here. And as for the Artifact of Power, I'm not going to be taking the Cloak of Mist of Shadows. You're probably wondering why. Everyone takes that. Everyone plays against that. It's my job to try and bring different things to the table here. And the Cloak of Mist of Shadows on this guy is trying just a little too hard, in my opinion. So we're going to go with something a little bit more interactive with a chance of failure, but a chance for success, too, if it pops off for something interesting in the video here. The Orb of Enchantment. It works on a three up when an enemy hero is within three. I just whip out the orb here and it might mesmerize them and they will be unable to fight as they are transfixed by the orb. Though it is only once per battle, so gotta, gotta use it right. I usually don't like artifacts like that, but it's a lot better than picking the Cloak of Mist of Shadows, uh, in my opinion. Though I will say the Amulet of Screams is kind of fun as well. It's just, uh, you never know how many wizards are gonna be in the enemy army. So don't wanna, I don't want a nothing effect, so I'd rather just go with the Orb of Enchantment. If for a spell, we're still gonna go with Spirit Gale. Vital Transverse is tempting, but it's a very swingy spell, and you never know what you're really going up against. So Spirit Gale, even though it has been finally eroded, uh, still kind of a useful spell, and I'm going to be running that one there. Uh, otherwise, the rest of my list will incorporate two Necromancers to fill out this battle regiment. One of them is going to have Fading Vigor, and one of them is going to have a Waste Away. We have one Corpse Cart. Uh, it technically doesn't have the, uh, the piece on it, but it's going to be the Baleful Brazier to help with casting. And then the rest of my list is a lot of zombies. I ran all the zombies I have in the studio here. Clearly, I need more because I have room for more in the list here. If I drop the dogs and add more zombies, I got one unit of dire wolves and uh, one reinforced unit of zombies. And then I have five units of 20 zombies as well. Just because I wasn't too sure what was good to reinforce, what wasn't good to reinforce. The reinforced one is going to be my brick in the middle walking up, taking the initial hits. So hopefully they don't all get wiped out. And the other units of 20 are going to be impossible to differentiate. So we're going to have fun with that. That there is my... Uh, Legion of Blood, Soul Blade Gravelord list. Let's go see what uh, Kendrick's bringing with his uh, Slaves of Darkness over here. All right, hi guys. Uh, this is Kendrick with my Slaves of Darkness list. Um, so I am bringing today, I mean, most of these guys you saw before last year when I was here, when the Slaves of Darkness were pretty new. But uh, today I'm bringing a detachment where my one drop is going to be all of my battle line and then my Chaos Lord on the Cracker Track. Uh, he is going to be my Warlord. He is going to be an Idolator Lord. I hope I'm saying that right, but it gives him the ability to cast a uh, prayer. He's going to get the cure one so that he can heal himself up. Then I have two sorcerers on foot. One sorcerer on foot is going to have the demonic speed, and the other one is going to have a spite tongue curse. Uh, then I also have another sorcerer lord on manticore. That one is going to have one of my special um, items. He's gonna bring the infernal puppet, which is a once per game. I can target a wizard. And pretty much I, every time that wizard is successful in casting a spell, they take D3 mortal wounds. And if they die, they don't. the spell doesn't go off. That wizard's casting spell lore is going to be the chaotic conduit. So giving me the ability to go for the Eye of the God stuff. Then my last hero is going to be Chaos Lord uh, on foot. And he is going to bring the Conqueror's Crown with his unit that is his retinue is going to be the Chosen. So the Chosen that I brought today are going to be marked Undivided, so that way they can get lots of rolls on the Eyes of the Gods. The, then I have a unit of Warriors, Mark and Nurgle. They're going to be bringing the banner and of the Eroding Icon. Then I have a unit of Dark Oath Savages. They are unmarked and they don't get to get marked with the Idolator Lord because they aren't cultists. Chaos Marauders, they are 
literally stock standard because it's just 10 man dudes that I'm going to use as a screen to die. And then my last unit is a unit of knights. Knights are marked with uh, corn, and then they're going to also have the banner of rage. And that reminds me, I forgot to say that I'm bringing the Ho host of the ever chosen. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, bringing host of the ever chosen, so I get two banners and I can rally on fives for my heavy armored units. As far as marks for my heroes, the Chaos Lord on Crackerjack, he's going to be corn. Chaos Lord on foot is going to be undivided. The Sorcerer on the Manicore is going to be Nurgle. The Sorcerer with the Spike Tongue Curse is going to be Zinch. And the Sorcerer with the Demonic Speed is going to also be Nurgle. I wish you luck. Yeah. Yeah, I wish <laughs> you luck. What's that? What was your grand strategy? Well, my grand strategy is to destroy all your battle line. <laughs> and then uh, that's mine as well. <laughs> so we're both running overshadows of grand strategies. I forgot, to, do you know how many points you are at the top of your head? I am 2,000 even. I am 1970. I will be taking Indomitable as the triumph to okay. uh, auto pass a morale check with one of my units when that, that comes up. <laughs> and that there, folks, is our armies. Let's go take a look at the mission that we randomized. Our mission today will be lines of communication. Both Kendrick and myself uh, ended up picking this one from several options. It's going to be a grind in the middle. We're going to see if quality or quantity is going to come out on top for this mission. Now, it does have both players deploying uh, along their long table edge uh, we will be 22 inches apart in this mission so our deployment zones are our territories there are three objectives in the middle of the table one directly in the middle and then two flanking objectives all in no man's land there's no real twist with the objectives and we have the standard scoring format for this season so it's one point for one objective one point for two or more objectives uh, and then an additional point for straight up more objectives and then uh, two for your battle tactic now what this means is you get five points a turn and then at the end of the game, if either one of us completes our grand strategy, which is only one of us will get it or neither of us will get it, it'll be three additional victory points. The twist, however, to lines of communication is narratively both of our forces are very far away from their war camps or any support in general. We are, we're in the sticks, as some might say, and our front lines are not supported. So the player going second in every battle round is going to dictate a phase that the opponent will have a harder time issuing orders in. So for example, if one of us chooses the command phase, sorry, combat phase, every command issued in said phase will cost an additional command point on the roll of a three or more. Otherwise, it's just issued normally. And there are a few more rules to go alongside with it, but you might imagine what those are. And I'll explain further when it comes up to it. Otherwise, that is our mission. We are fighting for important territories far, far away from where our outposts actually are. We're just spreading our influence today. Hey, here's my reminder every game, if you wanna come by and play war games with us, like Kendrick and his friends this week, go to miniwargaming.com slash challenge for all of the details. Uh, you'll talk to Josh, you'll figure it all out with him. Obviously, we're always looking for Sigmar and 40K. You're more than welcome. Sometimes it takes a little long to come in with those, but we're also doing all the smaller games as well. I in particular love Middle Earth Strategy Battle Game, Josh loves Mar Marvel Crisis Protocol, we'll do Titanicus, we got the little game coming out, uh, Legio Imperialis, uh, we got Old World coming out in the future, so if any of those games interest you, and you might not realize that we cover them, go to miniwargaming.com slash challenge for all the details. And one more note is, you're watching the Sigmar content, so you're obviously interested in Age of Sigmar. Steve and myself uh, play a lot of Sigmar over at Mountain Miniatures, Steve's channel, and we live stream it every Wednesday, 5 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, if you want to check it out. We, all, we do different armies every week. We have every army available to play, and we let our members vote for what armies we're playing, unless we have something new to show off. So if you want to check out some live Age of Sigmar content, heck, if you just want to hang out with us and talk in the chat and interact with us, well, go to Mountain Miniatures, check us out over there, 5 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, every Wednesday. And Kendrick and myself have deployed on our swampy little battlefield. I've played on this table before, but I wanted to, it's a hardboard table, it's kind of a nice table, so I don't want to take it apart right away. Playing a different mission on it this time though. So with this, uh, everything is made by our friend Adam at Greenleaf Terrain, actually just down the road from us technically. Uh, other than this stuff is like 3D printed and this is aquarium terrain, but he painted everything. He built the boards, built the rivers, very talented individual. If you ever want custom tables, or custom terrain, kind of built by hand. Well, he's the guy to contact. It'll be in the description down below if you want to check out Green Leaf Terrain. As for deployment here, well, I got uh, unreinforced zombies on the flank, 
20 zombies, 20 zombies near a gravesite. Vampire Lord on the zombie dragon. I got a reinforced unit of zombies here around a corpse cart and a necromancer, which reminds me my other necromancer is over there. And um, I'm going to cheat a little bit and just make one more reinforced unit of zombies, which I'm going to put right here. So I got a reinforced unit, reinforced unit, everything else is individuals. And then I got dire wolves over on my hard left flank here trying to rush up. I'm set up a little bit for surround and destroy in this one here. Uh, and then as for my necromancers, if you're curious which ones are which, I am too, so I can't quite remember. So on a four up, this one is waste away. All right, so this is the one that knows waste away. And this is the one that knows fading vigor. Boom, done. And on your side, Kendrick, what do we got going on here? So I have my warlord with the cracker drag, you know, knights. One of my wizards is here. This is the one that has demonic speed. And then my other wizard, which is over here, that one has the cursed tongue. Cursed tongue. Um, and then, of course, my mana core, Chosen, Marauders as a <laughs> screen, as we said, zombie fodder. That's, um, <laughs> those are zombies, upcoming zombies. <laughs> uh, and then I have my Dark Oath, which are pretty much zombie fodder. Yeah. And then my Warriors back here. Perfect. Uh, now, as for marks, let's go over it again so I can help you remember as well. Yeah, so these guys are undivided. Sure. Uh, these guys are Nurgle. The eroding icon. Nurgle. Yep, yep. Uh, and he do they do have the icon, yes. Um, these guys are marked of Nurgle. This guy is marked undivided. The chosen that are with him are marked undivided. He is marked of uh, Zinch. Yeah, I believe he's the Nurgle one. Oh, okay. This one over here is the one of Zinch. Gotcha. Because he looks Zinchian. Yep, fair. Um, Mark of Corn with the banner, and then Mark of Corn. Yep, and, and then he's a priest. Anyone curious on the banners? Plus one to hit all the time, I think. Where's the plus one? Uh, to plus one to wound. The wound roll. Wound gotcha. Charge. Perfect. Yep. Uh, right, right, right. Uh, that means uh, you have to roll on the Eye of the God's table for the Chosen right now. I do, and I can do that right now. Uh, and does the Chaos Lord do it? No, uh, he doesn't have the ability. Uh, I would have to take that as a additional Warlord trait. That's what it was. That's yeah. a favorite of the Pantheon or yeah, something. Yeah, and r if we remember correctly, last time that we played, I did get a Surprise Demon Prince round one. That's what it was, when yes. we played last. I vaguely remember that, yes. Yeah. Yeah, See what the Chosen get here. They get, they get two dice, and I get to pick which You're one I'm going to take. You're probably going to take the six. I'm going to take the six. Well, the, six, four, yeah, the four, but it becomes a six. I don't know what it is, but I'll tell you in a minute. That's the Slanesh one. It's plus one to run and charge, I think. Ooh. Ooh, I was only half right. It is only plus one to charge rolls, not run rolls. I thought it was both. But it's unearthly reflexes, so that is that for them. Uh, and then they're undivided, so they're going to be rolling on the table several times in this game, so we're going to try our best to we can hope. <laughs> remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So every time they you know help take an objective, kill characters or monsters, all that fun stuff. Uh, the, the proper Slaves of Darkness stuff. Okay, that should be it for the beginning preamble. I got, obviously, a gravesite over there. I got a gravesite over there on the ramp. One in my territory, one in my territory. We are going to go ahead and uh, let the Slaves of Darkness go first. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, I, good. I am going to go second. I am just going to meander up the board. I'm going to get to a good, fun spot. I kind of want to just fight with the zombie dragon for a long period of time and see how that goes for him. I do have to roll for my Doom Dominion's command trait on him, though. The whole idea of the Legion of Blood for the Soulblight Gravelords is that they are at first infiltrators. They they infiltrate enemy societies, enemy cultures. They wiggle their way into the politics or the higher echelons of their societies. And in this case, all of the command traits kind of represent, they figured out what they need to, to manipulate the enemy forces and how to beat them when, when it comes to war. So they're always prepared to deal with whatever the enemy has to offer. In this case, I will be able to deal with D3 of your units by hitting them on twos with his not the mount, but he, he himself, because it's a command trait, and any unit nearby hitting them as well. Not any, I meant just him. He hits the enemies on twos, the Doom Dominions, with the little fancy lance there. Vampire Lord there has been infiltrating the enemy lines and knows two of the units uh, to hit on twos. Well, that's gonna, that can't be heroes or monsters, so it's going to be, I guess, Chosen and Chaos Warriors. Makes, Makes sense. no sense, yep. So he will get to hit them on twos without having to all-load attack, which means he can just all-load defense a little bit more. And we're going to go to uh, Slaves of Darkness turn one, so good luck to your quality units. Yeah. And we'll see what they're able to do. <laughs> I'm hoping. I haven't played this many zombies ever. I've only ever had like tar pit, a couple tar pit units here and there, so I want to see what like an entire brick of zombies can do. I would definitely like to, if I had to alter the list a little bit, I would like a second corpse cart, but I don't know where I'd get the points for it. Hmm. Losing the dire wolves maybe, but having that one really fast unit is kind of clutch. So that's kind of where I'd be, it would keep me more on theme too. It'd be more zombie. Like not that they're not zombies. They're, zombies. they're dead walkers. I know. It's just ah dang. It's the second corpse card would be two flanks of corpse cards would be nice. 
All right, taking a look at this before we get into it. Taking a look at this as we get into the turn. We're going to roll Primal Magic up in a second here. But uh, I'll be player one on the left. Kendrick will be player two on the right. And this is the little score sheet I use in all my Sigmar and 40k games. So if you're familiar with it, skip ahead because I just go through the spiel every time. Check out the Forge if you want to get your hands on something like this, as well as other gaming accoutrements. Uh, you can get them printed in color, made to order, uh, or just uh, regular plastic, no color, so you can paint it yourself. And other designs as well. It doesn't have to be the Taco Cat. That's just mine. And uh, you, know, you get the D10s to come along with it. Anyways, uh, the way the scoring is going to work, if you're unfamiliar, every D10 here represents a different battle round. One, two, three, four, and five. And that'll be our score shown per battle round. Whoever has the most points at the end will be the winner. And uh, yeah, let's do uh, Primal Magic dice stuff. And Primal Magic. Uh, primal Magic. Sorry. Boop. I contribute primal one. Magic. Boom. That's a two. What is the battle tactic plan today? I'm going to go with Magical Dominance. The my usual first turn one. Fair. And then my uh, heroic action is going to be draw on power, so that my way, that way this wizard can uh, roll three dice and hopefully get the thing I need. And by this wizard, the one who is with the power of chaos is now outside of 30. That was my call, guys, so I had a battle regiment, but I was uh, held up doing something, so I asked Kendrick to deploy his stuff first and telling him he could redeploy anything he wanted after I deployed. So he just put his army down, and then I put my zombie dragon down kind of on the front. I'm like, oh, you should put one of your wizards in the back so you can magical dominance right away. Which he would have been able to do, because I had a one-drop list. Mm -hmm. So that wizard is deployed far away from any of my dispels. 31 or inches. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> so let's, uh, that is the battle tactic. I'm going to go ahead and do heroic leadership on my zombie dragon lord, because I don't really have too much else I can do right now. Hey. He is very inspiring. I'm very proud of him. Uh, I don't think it'll matter, but you never know. And you might as well go to the rest of your hero phase stuff. All right, for my... To give the... Um... Oracular Visions, I'm going to give these guys a ward save. Way to go, guys. This guy's Oracular Visions, I'm going to give these guys a ward save. Sure. And then this guy's Oracular Visions, I'm going to give this guy a ward save. Or, yeah, this unit a ward save. The Cast Knights there, yep. Yeah. It gives them a six-up ward save against all damage instead of the usual five up against Mortal Wounds. Yep, just gives them a little extra bubble. Yep. And then I'm going to go on to my spells. I'm going to start off with him because that's might as well go for it. I'm going to go with um, Mystic Shield. Sure. On three dice. You okay. did it. And it's going to go on them. Perfect. And then you don't want to risk casting anything else? I'm not going to do it. Nope. Nope. Welcome to two points. Yeah. You did it. We did the thing. Is there anything else you have to do in the hero phase? No. Okay. No, so we're going to go to movement. Uh, it's not going to be very... If you had to summarize your movement, what would you say? I think I'm going to go forward. Just everything's going to go forward? Yeah. All right. Well, then we're going to be right back once everything's moved. We'll let you know if anyone at the doubles or ran. And we're back. The old, We did change one little thing. The oracular vision is going to go on the chosen instead of the marauders in the back because the marauders ended up stepping out of the way. It's and front, so we remember. And then these cast knights have their oracular visions on them. Uh, uh, what ran? Oh, this, this advanced. He only went one. Sure. They advanced. They went five. Beautiful. They went advanced. They went six. <laughs> so I got to go wherever I wanted. They advanced. They went five. So did I got they, to... They pretty moved out of the way, yeah. Yeah, pretty much get out of the way, boys. Okay, well, uh, that is pretty much it for the turn, right? Yeah, and I was able to score this one and that one. Yep. So, so that will I get give my full five. That five points, battle tactic, holding more, holding one, easy peasy. So I've got to do this thing, right? Yeah, you can, you can adjust it over there. I am going to go ahead and do my first turn here, and uh, I'm going to do a very similar turn. The first battle round will be a little lackluster, but we'll get to the action soon. Roll Primal Magic Dice first. I'm going to contribute nothing this time. And Kendrick gives I us do. one. Just update here. I'm down by five points, but I technically haven't had a turn yet, so I should get five this turn. Two Primal Magic Dice each. That's the little blue guys. They're from Magic. Obviously, blue is Magic. And uh, four to three command points, because I'm going second. No heroic actions I really need to do. Ah! I mean, I'll see what this guy moves. I mean, wants him to just go be aggressive over here and just be an absolute unit. And then, but the Chosen are going to redirect that way. That means the Chosen won't be in the middle. I mean, we'll see how well he charges. I might, I might just go fly there and fight over there and then just be a hassle on the side. And then we'll have you decide that. So you know what? I will. I'm going to do one of the... Uh, oh, sorry. My battle tactic is going to be surround and destroy. I have to have three... I'm going to pick three units. These zombies. Those zombies. And doggos over here. Those three units had to be wholly within six of three different table edges, and two of those units have to be outside of my territory. Luckily, with this mission, the territory ends where your deployment zone ends, so a simple at the double for them will do the trick, and uh, the dogs are just fast enough on their own. They don't have to worry about it. And then these zombies just don't move. 
accomplished. <laughs> uh, we're all, we are playing, I should clarify, we are playing on a six foot by four foot board, but I always like to adhere to the minimum table size requirements because that way no one can get mad at me. And I don't care what size I play on. So we're not playing with the two inches back here. That's why I don't, I'm not deployed back there. And the 12 inch, yeah, same, same with uh, Kendrick. And the 12 inch line ends about here, but it extends a little bit that way as well. We're just not playing where the, the cliff edge is. I wouldn't really want to call it a cliff. It's not really a cliff. It always brings to question, how many grains of sand before it's a pile of sand? Five. Why not two? Because. Then it's just a couple grains of sand? I'm just choosing. I Fair. just chose a number. Exactly. Five. Fair. Okay, when does, a, when does a comma become a meteor, right? That kind of stuff. It's just like, when's a cliff a cliff and not a hill? I think they have more rules when it comes to comet meteor thing. There probably is. Like, <laughs> there probably is, I guess. That, that one seems like they're, they have scienced it. But do you know what the answer is? Hell no. <laughs> I know. Hero action for the Vampire Lord is going to be premeditated bloodshed. Uh, ward rolls cannot be made against attacks. Essentially, you can't use ward rolls against its attacks. Nice. For that one oracular vision. I'm going to try to get a... Um, command point? Command point with that guy. You're going to speak really... Oh, no, you're talking in tongues. That's right. The skulls are ones. If it, those are the yeah. old GW dice. Yes, yeah, so the skulls are bad. You want to see skulls? I, well, yeah, I want to see the skulls. Okay, I'm going to cast some magic. Should note that this necromancer over here was the target of the Season of War ability, Andorian Locus, I believe it's called. Uh, the name escapes me. Essentially, I pick one of my locuses, and they get to cast a, an additional spell. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Kendrick has an ability uh, called the Infernal Puppet, which is once per game. Yeah. What does it do? Uh, so it allows this guy to pick an enemy wizard within 24 inches and visible. And I'm going to pick his uh, Vampire Lord, and it makes it so every time he casts a spell, he takes D3 mortal wounds. Well then. I'm only casting one spell, but it's probably going to be D3 mortal wounds. Well, I was going to Mystic Shield. Well, this guy was going to Mystic Shield him. He was going to Spirit Gale, and he was going to cast I don't know what. Not too worried about him taking more wounds as he heals quite a bit, but I don't want it. It's kind of, I don't know if it's worth a spirit gale, but it probably will be. Anyways, this dummy over here is going to cast Mystic Shield. Roll two dice. Ba -ba -ba -bomb. Nothing's in range, by the way, for uh, what's it called? Hit, yeah, I can't hit them. They're outside of 18. He's got the nasty negative mm -hmm. one attack spell, but Fading Vigor is called. 30 here. I think I am. I am going to, I get plus one of the roll for this being nearby, so yep. I got an eight. Okay. I am going to throw one of my two primal magic dice into it just because okay. I kind of want this spell off. Okay. All right. That's what I rolled there. I got to, so, the only other spell you probably have to worry about is this guy casting uh, Spirit Gale. And then I'm probably just going to Arcane Bolt somewhere else. Well, what I'm probably, what I'm going to do is this guy's with the only one that's, this guy's the only one that's in range there, so gotcha. I'm gonna do there. But I'm gonna have him try, just try, sure. throw dice at it, and see how good, how high I go. An eight, and then I might as well throw. Oh, we got two. You got two, yep. Yeah, I'll throw one. You can do one at a time. Four. Uh, so okay, the current total nine, twelve. I have uh, eight, eleven. I also have twelve mm. because I got plus one for this. So you'll have to throw one more to stop it. I'm not gonna worry about it. All right, I Mystic Shield on this guy. It. Mystic Shield on him right there. Uh, I am, I'm gonna, I'll cast, uh, what's it called? Uh, Spirit Gale. I'm gonna, so is, I guess it's on cast I take the D3 Mortal Wounds? Or is it after I cast? As soon as you declare that you're going to cast, you take the D3. Hit me up with it, let's go. D3, I suffer a single Mortal Wound. Hey, no I don't. <laughs> <laughs> the artifact of power, everyone. Of course. I always appreciate the goofy ones. I got a once for a game one as well, we'll see if it matters. I don't know if it will so much because I'm flying away from the character I'd like to use it on. The Manticore is kind of scary too, but we'll see. Anyways, uh, Spirit Gale. Ah, I got a... Oh, that's kind of scary. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to risk a primal miscast on that. Now, Legion of Blood, my vampires that are not engaged get plus one to cast. And this thing's nearby, so plus two to cast. That's a six. One more for a mortal wound to three different units. And you have a lot of more, uh, more wound protection. I'm not going to bother. So you know what? There you go. It fails. This Necromancer over here is going to cast Arcane Bolt. I might as well use my primal magic die. Look at that. I got a total of eight. So this guy over here is going to try to stop it? Nope. All right. <laughs> nope, so we got one arcane bolt on that necromancer. That should end my hero phase. We're going to go right to moving. Uh, trying to think of where I would add the... Everything's just going to push forward in a way. This one's going to be a little awkward to move because they have to snake around. So I'm probably going to add the double of them and try and form up a solid line. But I want the corpse card to get... Ideally, we'll have zombies here, zombies here, and a corpse cart there is the hope. It's a, kind of a terrain-heavy battlefield, so... Not to be that guy, but 
you did say you need these guys to get at the I do. Team. I know. I'm, that's that's what I'm also thinking there, too. Now, luckily, I think they can just get there. I, I got to make sure I measure this one, because if I roll a one on their run, this back guy has to clear the front guy. So I think I have to add the double them, just to make sure I get it. So we'll have the Necromancer, who is right there, issuing at the double to them. Everything else is just going to run, because theirs, the, theirs is the only one that matters. These dogs are automatically going to make it with a normal move because they move far enough. I'm going to run them anyways, but you know what? For anyone watching, let's see what the dogs run. Hey, four extra inches. Look at that. We'll be back all the same after everything is moved. I'm going to I'm gonna be aggressive and hopefully uh, kind of goofy with it. The vampire is going to rush off on his own. The movement is complete. Our vampire lord on a zombie dragon scooted his butt up this way. It's a very aggressive move, uh, and I would normally play a lot more reserved, but I'm feeling saucy today, so I'm just going to hope, I'm going to stat check uh, this game, and we'll see if I can push through it now. Obviously, a lot more confident move with the Cloak of Mist and Shadow, but we got a Mystic Shield up. We got all our defense. We got stuff. We got things and stuff, because the two units I was going for are the Chosen and the Warriors, so... I get to hit them on twos with him anyway, so hopefully that helps. And um, on his move, Kendrick did redeploy the Warriors of Chaos. Can you believe this guy backed up? With the Warriors. Yeah. You rolled a six. It was a good, was a good redeploy. So that's why there's that giant half circle there, making his charge on them more difficult. They were always the target anyways. I wanted to go beat up some regular dudes who thought they could uh, go toe-to-toe -to -toe against the army of the undead. They did the at the double. The Necromancer ran up beside them. And then these zombies didn't roll very well on the run. That's where they ended up. These zombies just moved forward an inch. They still have to stay wholly within technically eight of the battlefield edge when we're using the full board, but mechanically six. Unfortunately, these zombies rolled a one, and they clogged up everything over here. This is why I was hesitant, thinking about rolling the at the double here, but I would have risked them rolling the one and failing my battle tactic. You should, you should, while we're watching, hypothetical. See what, it, see what they would have rolled. They would have rolled a four. Not enough. They would have, yeah, exactly. So I needed to at the double over there just to make sure I get the battle tactic. This is going to hurt me later, not so much right now. They rolled well enough to get up the board. Might even taking the objective. We'll have to count. And uh, obviously these dire wolves, they rolled a four, so they went 14 inches, I believe, up the board this way, securing mm -hmm. that battle tactic. Getting surrounded and destroyed out of the way right away. And uh, we are gonna go to shooting, I guess, because I have nothing else to do. Only really now coming to my attention that when I said he had the Baleful Brazier, I actually meant he has the Unholy Lodestone. The plus one to cast upgrade instead of the minus one to cast upgrade. The minus one to cast one has uh, always been suspect, even in old fantasy. Just the pestilential breath. I'm gonna go for the. I kind of want to go for the, like the the character there, just to breathe pestilential breath on him for pressure on you because you can just rally the warriors. So it's I not any. You, you have. Uh, oh, is it the eroding icon is only melee? I think it is. Yes. Could kill a bunch of warriors. How many wounds on that manticore? Uh, that manticore has twelve wounds. You know what, let's, let, let's breathe on him if I'm within 12 inches. It's within 12, so I'm going to breathe on him. It's going to be D6 Pestilential Breath Attacks. Ooh, we got a lot of that smog in us. End of the battle round, I might as well all out attack this. You're going to all out defense and response. Two's to hit. Uh, it mattered for one. And I think it's threes to wound. Three wounding hits. Did change Pestilential Breath up a little bit. It's not as effective against armor. So you have your base save, but it is a lot of damage if you fail. I am, a, I am at fours. All right. I see Ooh. two, that's six damage. It's three per, yep. yeah, that's You breathe it in, and that's the one thing you don't do. You don't breathe in the yeah. Pestilential Breath. Don't breathe it in. Uh, does he have a built-in board save? No, he doesn't. Nope, all right, he gave off his oracular vision, so he's, he's still has six wounds remaining. A little marker there on the base, and uh, that's it, I have no other shooting. We are gonna go to the charge phase. Zombie Dragon, let's see what we got. I'm gonna need a spicy-ish roll here. A seven is, that's that's a I would, eight. I would have been like for sure seven questionable, and it is good. I can only go up to here. I would I wanted to go here. I can only go. Is there a weapon there yet? I can only go to here though. Not quite as far as I wanted to go. Though I guess if I rolled a box car, I could have gone where I wanted. But you could go to the warriors then. Yeah, true. I don't want to fight them much. Uh, were, you, were we supposed to roll on the Eye of the Gods table for anything? To, is it when you take objectives away from me, or is it when you acquire objectives? That is a great point. I don't know. Because we might be able to... It doesn't change anything, so we just roll up the stuff over here. Yeah. Right, yeah. Good thing to double check it is take objectives away that the opponent had. So, not in this case. I am going to go to fighting. This guy is going to stomp. The zombie dragon is going to stomp about the... Um, what, the Oath Sword? Those are the, uh, Dark Oath. Dark Oath, right. Two plus. 
Ooh, they are not fast enough to move out of the way of the stumps, and it's going to deal two mortal wounds to them. They do have oracular vision, so six so supports. Six Meditated bloodshed only works against attacks. This is not an attack, it is an ability. It was two mortals? Yes. So six is... Did they see their death coming? Nope, they had no idea this was coming, so those guys get stepped on. And uh, squish, squish. that's it. I'm just going to go ahead and fight with him there. I don't believe I can pile in at all because I'm kind of up against the train here already. So that's our lot in life. We're gonna just, we placed him so the wing's not resting him up there so he looks a little bit more dynamic. Well, let's uh, let's see. You know what? The Vampire Lord doesn't really respect what he's fighting so much here. He's going to let the Zombie Dragon have a little bit of fun with this one. With the Snapping Jaws, it's a bloodthirsty Zombie Dragon. He gets an extra attack. Fours to hit and threes to wound. Oh! He, he just toys with you. It's just like a little kitten gnawing at you a little bit there. Let's see if the razor-like claws can do any better. Sword-like claws. Eight of them because uh, of the... Uh... Oh, only two of them. Okay, well. Uh, we wound once. of one, but you have your mystic shield up. So I have a five up normally. Goes out on four. Minus, so fives. Nope. Right, two damage from that. Uh, these... You know what it says against these attacks? Okay. is the premeditated bloodshed. Yep, so, so it's two die. The Vampire Lord's impressed that they're able to fend off the zombie dragon attacks with their martial prowess, so he's going to give it a shot with his death lance. <laughs> I'm going to all out attack with these attacks. I completely forgot I was going to do that. I rolled ones and twos with the other attacks anyway, so it wouldn't have mattered. Uh, I had maybe one more bite attack, so you know what? Didn't even help there. Three wounds at... Oh. Three on the charge. It'll be nine damage, ignoring ward saves. Got to get one more dice. Oh, they are all dead. Yeah. <laughs> there is no wards at all against this. So yeah, they're dead. Yeah. They get so uh, they get skewered on the lance, thrown to the sides, and uh, dealt with, I guess. Bam. And that is the end of my turn. I killed a unit, and I did some damage to the Chaos Sorcerer Lord on the Manticore. Mm -hmm. And at the end of my turn, I'll have one objective here. I do not have this objective. We do have to count this one up, though. Oh, and I'm also going to do nothing with that Arcane Bolt. So it's just two from the character there and the three knights are in range. I have about 12 zombies in this proximity. So that'll be mine as well. That'll give me a five point turn uh, as we go to battle round two. Now, both Kendrick and I are about to go take a break for some food. Uh, Kendrick, do you want to roll the die now for priority or do you want to wait till we're back? Let's let's roll it now. We're you, here. You want to roll it now? Do you want to roll first? Or do you want me to roll first? Um, I don't think it matters. It, it kind of matters. It means the zombie dragon can zip around and be annoying again. But... I'll let you roll because you're near your dice. Oh, fair. Okay, here we go. Uh, you win ties. I roll a two. Okay. That's not bad. That's promising. They're going to be five. All right, okay. excellent. Sorry, let me show. Boom. That looks like a three from that angle, but that's a five. You're good yeah. to go. Oh, three would also work. So would you like to go next? I think I'm going to have to go next. Yeah. Fair. Okay, okay. That zombie dragon is going to be a little bit of a problem if I don't. I'm going to choose one of my wizards to cast two spells. And it's going to be this one, I think. Ah, this one. This one's going to cast two spells. Okay. Because I'm going second. We didn't do it before because uh, I didn't really care too much about it. But I'm going second in the battle round. I'm going to choose the combat phase upcoming. So that means... Every time you issue an order in my combat phase or your combat phase on a three up, it'll cost two command points instead. Mm -hmm. And then there's a little bit more to it than that as well, based on how many are left. But that is where we're at. Nice. We got a spicy. I want to see if he can just stat check. Yeah, that's all. That's all I care about. Was there a marker on him? Where'd that marker go? It's right there. Oh, okay. There we go. Perfect. Oh, yeah. there it is. Roll up some primal magic dice. Uh, both of us are helping. Not at all. And uh, this is kind of where we're at. Tie game so far, and three to two command points. No primal magic available. What's the plan? All right, so I'm going to start off with, uh, I'm going to take Lust for Power as my battle tactic. Um, and then for my heroic action, he's going to do the... Draw and Power, draw I think. Draw and Power, yeah. yeah. The thing I did last round where the other guy over here. Lust for Power as a battle tactic. Which character is going to do it? He's going to try to do it. Oh, the Cast Lord down there? Yeah, and I think my thing actually... Oh, lust for power. Yeah, lust for power just says a hero. It doesn't. I don't have to pick. Oh, no picking. Excellent. Good. No, it does say I have to pick. Yeah. Oh, I'm okay. sorry. Yes, pick a friendly hero. Bam! That chaos lord right there. Do chaos lords have to roll on the eye of the gods table, or is that the exalted heroes I'm thinking of? The exalted heroes. Yeah. Okay. Gets it. Um, I'm going to try to do it with a spell, which is why. I... Yeah. Gonna chaos. You can even take an objective away from me too, but the spell gives you the guarantee almost. Yeah. Yeah. So chaotic conduit the spell that that guy knows is going to be able to make that happen. So. All you have to do is make this guy roll on the eye of the gods table by the end of the turn. There are several ways to do that. We're going to try the easier one right away. I am thinking that you will probably try and pounce on my zombie dragon vampire lord right now. So he is going to ascend the tower of power. Uh, he is going to 
be too sweet to be sour, and it's gonna be his finest hour. T is the cream of the crop, baby. The oh. man on the top. <laughs> ready for spells? Yeah, well, I'm ready to do my oracular visions. So I'm gonna <laughs> start off, he's gonna give the oracular visions to this guy. Yep. He's gonna give oracular visions to these guys. And then he's gonna give his oracular visions as long as he's in range. I think it's like oh, oh, pretty he gets, far. He gets 12 inches. Oh, it's so only it's 12? gotta be the okay. knights. I, I wanted to give it to him, but it's gonna be the knights. Knights it is. Yep, so all my heavy infantry. Fair. Start with the chaotic conduit on yep. three dice for draw and power. Whoa. Take the whole thing. Can't stop that. <laughs> That's a there 14. So that is, uh, go ahead and roll on the other gods table. Is he right. undivided? He is undivided, so I'm gonna get three dice and just choose. Yeah, you get to choose whatever fancy combination you want. You got a four, four, and a two. So I'm gonna probably take the eight, because it gets plus one rend, I believe. Yes, sir, slaughter of strength. That is plus one rend to his melee weapons, which is all he has. He's got the demon bound steel and the, whatever the other weapon is. Um, I can't yeah. Remember. Yeah, it's sword. <laughs> Pole arm thing. So I'm gonna go over here and I think I'm going to cast Arcane Shield. Mystic Shield? Or that's one. That's one, okay. <laughs> Mystic Shield over here. I'm gonna throw it on those guys. Got a 10. I'll try and stop it, might as well. Uh, the Vampire Lord can do it. Uh, let's have this guy do it. Nope, not good. It's a 10 also, but I need an 11. Oh, so. oh no, I should have done it with the Vampire because he would have been. Uh, uh, not bloodthirsty, but the other one, he would have had plus one to unbinding rolls. Okay, well. Joke's on me, I guess. Ooh. Good, good, good roll. All right, uh, we got now I'm gonna go over here. He's gonna use demonic speed just to make sure. Okay. So. Whoa. That is a tw 12? I, yeah. All right. Okay. I could technically stop that with him if I rolled a double six, because he gets plus one to the roll. Nope, nope, that's <laughs> not it. <laughs> <laughs> Target the knights, I can't, it's something about they can run and shoot? What do they do? It gives them a 3d6 when they charge. I see, okay. It's not really all that beneficial, but... Could we, but why don't we just say you do demonic power instead? Yeah, that's probably better. Yeah, plus one to hit and wound. It doesn't really matter for the banner so much, but the plus one to hit's really nice. It is. We'll do demonic power. Demonic power is a busted spell, but it's uh, it's their busted spell. So they, everything deserves to have something good. It be rerolls in second edition. We're getting those out of the game. Only bonuses speeds the game up, and it's only see mathematically bonuses aren't as good as rerolls in a lot of ways. But you don't have to take the time to reroll dice and count up all your dice and everything. Bonuses yeah. are way better for gameplay. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is is that it for the hero phase. Yes. Well, let's get to moving. Mm -hmm. We're going to start the move off with the Chaos Lord on Karkadrak. He's going to posture near the dogs and the zombies, and so are the Chaos Knights. Probably going to keep those Marauders on the gravesite to try to deny it. We'll spread them out a little bit later once everything else is moved. The Chosen are actually going to commit to the zombies, which is... Well, I guess, I, was that because I all-out defensed, or were you always going to do that? I wasn't sure. I, I'm still, like, oh, I, I think I'm still going to do it, but I, if I can create a hole in your line, that'll be a big oh, benefit. Oh, absolutely. Chosen are coming to mulch up some zombies. I like where this is going. This is, uh, the zombie list is, I wonder I wonder if it'll be fun or not. Are you just avoiding the objective? <laughs> you just don't want to stand on it? Yeah, no. Really? Fine. Oh, and by the way, with the river, uh, mechanically it's shallow water. It's not enough to uh, impede the movement of anyone uh, walking into it. I'm sure I didn't have to explain that, but I play so many other games where rivers are half movement. Uh, so, yeah. And we got the Warriors of Chaos. I'm curious. So, one thing to watch out for here, uh, not that it matters too, too, too much, but you can't inspire them when you're near the zombie dragon. So if you take a pretty big hit, some guys might be boogie woogie in. Mm -hmm. yeah. We got big dummy coming on in here, flying on up. Try to think if I want to like, what I want to save my command points for. Redeploy here could like reduce the amount of attacks on the Vampire Lord on the Zombie Dragon, but I'm feeling so confident about this that whatever. He's, he's, he's again, we're just gonna stat check. We're gonna just roll super good, and that's that's how we care about. For unit. Yeah, we're gonna have the Sorcerer Lord and the Marauders posture around the gravesite. They they can the Sorcerer Lord can sense the necromantic energies coming from that area, so they're gonna try and screen it as much as they can. All right, so we're done. We're good to go ahead and start shooting. All right, this thing probably has a breath attack. I have no shooting. That thing doesn't have a breath attack. No shooting. All right, fine. I, no don't, I don't shoot things. That's that's a different list. That's a different... Oh, fair. Okay. <laughs> I'm thinking of a chimera, actually, not the manticore. Okay, well, that makes sense. Uh, where do you want to start charging? Uh, I'll start over here with the mantic or the guy on the Kraken track. Oh, bring it on. Do, 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 Nine. Go wherever he wants. See you soon, buddy. Here we go. We're gonna go ahead and fight charge right there. Uh, not overly committing over here because we want to keep his aura to support the knights because uh, he's got a they, he fight they fight kind of thing. Wow. They, they can change the two to a four. Yeah. But so he's going. They're going eight. 
boom, that's just what their musician does. And they're coming on in to fight. I like that we're fighting on the different elevations, it's nice. Just a good old juicy chaos and I charge into the zombies, I like it. That's awesome. Then this guy's gonna charge, these guys are gonna charge. Chosen, they get plus two to the charge. They're gonna go nine. Nice. Uh, they get, if anyone's curious, their drummer gives them one, the musician, and they rolled unearthly reflexes earlier as a reminder. It's good because we've remembered it now and it probably won't come up again, hopefully. So we don't have to remember it for later. Yep. I say that now, but oh boy, here comes. I'm curious if we're gonna use their despoiler ability on zombies or not. I mean, we'll find out. I don't know. <laughs> All right, Manticore. Ah, uh, sorry, that is a 10. I keep thinking that's a 9, but I'm like, that's not possible on a D6. That's the way it should be. Yeah, well, it's, it's all good, it's all good. Boom, 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 zombies! Hello. Boom. Biggest mistake ever, dude. Ever. They're gonna get you. They are. Next one's left on him. Let's see if the zombies can take care of that guy. And here come these guys. Yep. Hello. Boop. Yep, they can go wherever they want. I don't think it'll change your mind or anything. I got an arcane bolt. A very devastating mortal wound. Yes. One whole mortal wound. I'm gonna do it at the start of the fight phase. You better watch out. They're charging in and they are gonna be wholly within 12 of an objective that they do not control. They're gonna have three attacks per model. Doing the math in my head, the zombie dragon should be perfectly fine, but we'll see. I'm gonna gamble it. I'm, I'm not gonna fight with him until they fight first so I can utilize his healing a little bit. But if they one tap him, well, some wild things are going on in the Age of Sigmar or the realms of Sigmar yeah. or the realms of the eight realms. What do you, I don't even, uh, they, what do you call them? This escapes my mind right now. All the realm, the realms, the realms of not they're not because they're not Sigmar's realms. They're just they have a name, don't they? The mortal the realms, realms, the, the mortal, mortal realms, realms, the mortal realms. realms. Yes, right. odd things are going on in the mortal realms. Wow, we couldn't. By the way, we're back from lunch, so uh, if we seem uh, stupefied, then uh, sure, that's uh, that's blame that's food. Blame food. It's a word I made up. I don't know what that word means, but hopefully uh, it makes sense. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! Your coherency's broken here, man. Broken coherency. This guy's just gonna go over here. Don't mind me. Lots of room to charge. Okay, that's all the charges done. You, Monsters Rampage, if you want. Yeah, of course. Uh, I'm gonna stomp. Stomp. Boom. Two. Works. D3 mortal wounds. My zombies are clearly too slow One. to move out of the way. A single mortal wound. They're zombies. They take it. Uh, it's only melee attacks that really affect the thing, so this zombie's gonna die right there. Attempt to roar at your Chaos Warriors. We're good. Okay. You are both terrified and spooked. Start of the fight phase. I'm gonna unleash this Arcane Bolt. Zap at him. He suffers a mortal wound. I don't know if he has a ward protection. He's not. He's down to five wounds left. Dummy. Wounds left. And Kendrick would like to fight with the Cracker Drack Lord first. He has always strikes first, so we got to start there. And then. Oh, he actually he's... literally has always strikes first. Yeah. Okay. As long as he charges. Ah. Um, and then because he activates, I can then combo activate the knights. So therefore, I can do these two at the same time. That's perfect. We're so the Cracker Drack Lord. What are you hitting on? The hex axe goes on threes. Good start. One miss. Yep. And wounding my dogs on. on threes. Uh, him being corn, does that matter at all here? Yeah, extra attack. Him an extra attack, so I got Might as well roll a fifth attack here. Hits, okay. and does it wound. That's a one, no. Nope. So three See. wounds, rend of at least two, I assume? I think it's minus two on this one. The hex axe. Uh, I get, actually only rend one, I get a six up save here, which I'll save none, and we did forget his impact hits. He's a large force coming in, so it's like, what, a two up for mortal wounds? Two up for mortals. Nope. Okay, roll the one. Huh. Fair. Great. <laughs> oh, so how much damage is that hex axe? Uh, two damage each. So we're at six damage so far. We'll just resolve all the hits and then I'll do my wards. Yep. We got the sword. So then he's got the demon bound blade, which any sixes on this do mortal wounds in addition. Are you throwing the extra one attack for being corn? I am not. <laughs> Boom. And two hits. Wounding on. Threes. Threes. One. Rend of. Two. I don't know why I'm rolling. I don't D get a save. D3 damage. Boop, boop. We're at six, seven, eight, nine damage so far. And then last up, I get the uh, tearing horns and claws, which I do get an extra attack. Yes, charge Four. corn, bless. So that's a lot of ones. Yep, but I did get two hits. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I got, I got uh, two wounds. Friend of? One. Sixes. Two I damage. Don't... Oh, an additional four. You did 13 damage with him alone. That's fitting of the Cracker Drag Lord. Wards. Uh, are they protected by being... Oh, that guy is very cautious. i got to be careful rolling on this ramp, but... Oh, I make three ward saves. That means I suffer 10 damage, which is five of the dogs. I'm going to lose, I guess, these guys. Four and five. We'll keep the Doom Wolf. Look at that. It landed perfectly. So we are going to move on to the Chaos Knights. They have the, again, I'm mentioning, they get the ability to immediately fight after Mr. First Strike goes. Yep, and they're a mark of corn, so they also get the plus one to their attack. So this is my pool of dice. 
And then they hit on, uh, they're getting plus one to hit and plus one to wound, so they're hitting on threes, wounding on twos. Yes. Boom. Awesome. Two's to wound because of demonic power and the banner. Hey. Ones are bad, but there's only a couple. A massive 28 damage as they charge in. Clearly the zombies will not have any save against the charging Chaos Knight. So with 28 damage, we still have to resolve the actual mounts. That was yep. simply their lances attacking. And their Chaos Deeds. Yep. They should get, be getting all the same bonuses, plus one to hit, and technically plus two to wound, and the extra attacks for charging. I'm trying to roll in the river. <laughs> it actually is. We'll rend on the horse attack, so I will get ten six-up saves. I'll save three of them, which means seven are going to go through, making it 35 damage on the 40 wound unit. Uh, I do have a six-up ward, though. <laughs> so I'll do 17 and 18 for the ward saves. So I'll just do 17 twice, and then just reroll one of them. Oh, that's not bad. I made five, so that's 12 damage. 12 damage so far, uh, plus another 14. So we're at 26 damage, and then I owe you one more. So 26, 26, 27 dead. All gonna die from the front rank, uh, so as many of them could do mortal wounds, with the drag down and torn apart. 19 in the front are gonna try and drag you down as they go down, and then the other eight will just be dead. On a five up, they do a mortal wound back to you. And you will have a Chaos Rune Shield, though. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven mortal wounds. I almost counted it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But the shield will help you from being dragged down and torn apart. Maybe. Can you roll fives? You rolled, rolled one. one. All right, so you I killed two Chaos Knights with that. That's not yep. bad. There we go. See, I don't mind that. <laughs> that's a trade up for me, I think. Clean kill. That's what's left of the zombies afterwards. Uh, and uh, that's it. Your pick is done. I will. No, that's my always strikes first. That's your strikes first. That's right. Yes. Boom, boom, boom. And then they can go. So now I can choose something else, which I'm still torn. Uh, well, it's up to you then on these two. Because yeah, he could good. very well, like, they're attacking him, and then him killing them back might be the doom of the sorcerer. Yeah. But then him just killing them in general might be the doom of the sorcerer as well, so you never yeah, know. kind of, like, torn. I'm going to go after the, ch the Chosen are going to go. Excellent. So we're going to roll up their attacks here. Uh, any any orders? They, I don't think they have any bonuses on them. No, I think I am going to go all out attack. All right. Kendrick got one command point. These are twos to hit now. Wow. And I believe and sixes, sixes are mortals in addition. In, in addition, yeah. Here's our hits. Six of them will be sixes. So that's six more wounds in the pool. Dead. I should all defense these zombies with a necromancer. So I'll use a command point there. Uh, just to give them a save to negate some damage. Every, every six I roll is valuable. So. Yeah, because it's two damage each. Yeah. So now I need threes. 17 wounding hits that I'll get to roll sixes on. Get 10 sixes here. So my all of defense. Ooh. Ooh. Burn the command point on that one. So that's 34 damage. So we're at 40 damage because uh, of the six mortal wounds, which I will do my ward saves against. Go with six up ward. So we made one out of 20. I want about six guys alive. So I have one out of my six I need. Okay, so I got three. Oh, I made, I failed so many six up saves. And then I only made three sixes on 40 uh, feel no pains or ward saves. So I have three zombies remaining, which is okay. Uh, so everything is going to die, except I'm going to have one, two, th those three zombies are going to be left. Because I don't want you to be enticed to pile in and fight again uh, here or into the Necromancer with those guys. So I am going to do that. I'm going to see how many are actually within three. Once I keep those three alive, I want to see how many are actually going to be striking out at you. I'll figure that out right now. We got uh, only, so there's 15 in range to do it, but I want three to stay there. So it'll only be 12 striking back at you. Get so many mortal wounds here. Uh, three, okay, not bad, I'll take it. That could kill one if you fail some miraculous visions. I'm visioning. Do they see themselves dying here? Not quite, one wound left on one of them. Hey, there we are, that's what we got left. If I was smart, I would have kept one zombie in range for them, that way to stop rallying, and I could have piled in and fought. I'm not going to, because I'm playing Soulblade Gravelords, and they're already busted enough, so, plus that's not gonna matter too, too, too much for me. Let's go with a me fighting now. Yeah, it's finally your choice for something. It's me, me, me. Who's got the one wound left? Oh, that guy over there. Yeah. Uh, these zombies are gonna pile in and try and do just a little bit of damage, and it'll get more than within three when they die, too. Piled in, we got 19 zombies attacking. Unfortunately, this is where I would love the second corpse cart, just to, like, mortal wounds, if I'm lucky. <laughs> I'm gonna just do this in sets of 19. Fives to hit. Oh, there's all my good rolls. Force to wound the first bit. That's gonna be two wounds. And then the other attack. Oh, he's Marco Nurgle. 
Ooh, six is to hit then. Ooh, no. Six is to wound. Six is to wound. Oh, uh, no, five is to wound. I think I rolled a couple fives there. Oh, you know what? I'll re-roll it. I'll count this as my first roll. <laughs> uh, no wounds on the first one. All right, second roll. And second one. Boom, boom, boom. Well, that's a good roll, too. Go zombies, man. Showing the heck up. And there is a lot of flock on the table, so I'll re-roll, like, clearly cock dice, but most of them, I'll just keep them. Fives to wound. So you have... Oh, nice. It stopped. Four wounds, two saves. And... Four up. All right, take, take two damage. Both. Nerd, you got three wounds left. Three You're going to die for sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's dead. Right, we're going to go with the Chaos Warriors and the Zombie Dragon. I don't got to do jack here because uh, I have Mystic Shield and Finest Hour going. So it'll just counteract the rend and give me a two-up save. I'm getting about 14 Chaos Warriors attacking. And again, they're getting one extra attack because they're fighting near this dummy. Well, sorry, not him. The objective being the dummy in question. <laughs> be 43 attacks as they try and hack at any part of the zombie dragon they can. Threes and threes! Here we go! Wee. Oh boy. We'll tell you how many hits in a second. And here's the wound rolls. There was only... Threes. Oh, but the average misses. Oh. Now let's see how many wounds we get here. Like The math says it's around 20 wounds after everything is said and done here. And I got two up save against this, so... Four. Oh, 24 wounds. Not bad. So I owe you 24 two up saves. And then a ward afterwards. I'm gonna set the 12 here. So here's the first set. I'm gonna take three damage so far. And then I'll do uh, three, four. Sure, okay. Yeah. Ward, I take three. Little zombie dragon lord. Definitely one that probably should be toned down or increased in cost a little bit, I think. Ah, I guess it's all situational. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, okay, that's your attack there. I'll mark that as, uh, I'm gonna attack with him and he heals one wound for every damage he causes. Yeah, yeah up, he's not, I didn't do Up damage. to six, yeah. I didn't do any damage. No, no damage, no damage. Uh, let's go with my zombies over here, I guess. You also have the wolves over here. Ah, true, yes. So I'll just, you guys will pile in this way. And then you're going to pile in this way. Oh, coherency fix. I think I still want them to run away probably, but whatever. Uh, you're not marked, so I don't have to worry about any negatives. It's going to be fives and fours, but sixes are going to be good here. So I'll keep that in mind. We hit you once. Hi. Hi. That's a wound. No rend. So it should be a three up. You're good. No damage. No damage. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'll do the zombie dragon last. He's the most dramatic. I'm going to come <laughs> way over to here. And these dogs, are, they got a big pile in. They got a six inch pile in. They're fighting dogs, but I'm sure you won't have much trouble dealing with them. Fours of fours. With the champion included. Nice. Two saves. Okay. Take one. Take your damage, Lord. And my last pick will be the Vampire Lord. I'm going to, even though they're doomed minions, he'll be hitting well with, oh yeah, I probably should swing over here. No, I no swing. you should swing with swing him. Yeah, I, I already attacked you. That's yeah. how that works. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Next with the staff, hitting on threes. The magic stick. Yay. It's a good start. And that's three wounds. How Maybe, much uh, rend? Uh, it's minus one. How much damage? It's D3. I'll roll it up, three D3 damage. Oh, that total. Great. All right, total of four so far. We gotta roll the manticore. And manticore. Four oh, threes. Oh, damn, good start. One miss. And then twos. Ooh. Three wounds. Three, rend dive. And these are rend of one, and they're two damage. So an additional six. We're at ten damage. And right. then last but not least is his tail, Ooh. which is four attacks. Of course, he has to have three different numbers. Those three hit. And three two. Oh, definitely the two ones will fail there. Uh, four, uh, I actually missed all of it. So. Okay, all right, so 10 damage. Uh, I'm gonna roll the rewards because I do want to save as much damage as I can. Rewards are always optional, don't forget, if you want your things to die. Uh, so sixes, in this case, not so bad. I make one of them, so that's nine that are gonna die. I'm just gonna choose, they're all within three, so it doesn't really matter who dies. These are gonna be dragged down and torn apart on fives. Only one mortal wound. Ooh, we're gonna lose the nine over on this direction. He could heal, he could heal. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. That's what we got left. Plus 10 there. All right, the Zambi Dragon's gonna go ahead and attack. Still gonna all out attack, uh, even though he hits on twos up top. I want the Zombie Dragon to hit on threes with his attacks. Even though you do have the Eroding Icon and Mystic Shield, uh, the some of the rend on the bite will get through at least. The Dragon's gonna open this up. Threes to hit with the Snapping Maw. Damn, got one hit at least. Four to wound, because you're Nurgle. That goes through. Rend three, down to rend two. Down to rend one, because of Mystic Shield. Correct, so, so you're I'm looking at a four single up. four up. Whoa. Oh. No, that's not good. That's three, oh, D6 damage, I think. Dies. They just made it three. Ah, uh, you do have oracular visions on them. I do, nah. right. 
I thought, did you do the thing that makes it my normal? No, work? I did finest oh. hour. Ooh, finest hour. That means I get plus one wound. It does. It just counteracts the Nurgle mark. I missed with my attacks. That was a problem there. So I save one. One guy dies. So two damage so far. We'll do the sword like claws. It'll be eight attacks. Uh, let's do threes to hit for all that attack. Good. Start with the claws. I'm going to hope you're just going to roll like not great saves, but we'll see. Uh, threes to wound because the plus one wound negative didn't matter at all. So five, six saves. Should be two up, sadly, for me. I get a two up or you Yeah, you should, because it's only rend one, you ignore it. Oh, okay. I'll double check though. Ooh. Four damage from oracular vision. Oh, I was supposed to unleash hell no. when they charged in. I forgot. Oh, kill. Nice kill. Two more. Two more dead. The Death Lance has four attacks. Twos and twos. Uh, three saves. These are gonna put you at a three up after everything is said and done. Because it's rend two. Nice. Good, good, good. Alright. Probably should have. Unleashed hell, but I still have a command. Actually, I needed the command point. That's why I didn't do it. Okay, uh, that is it, I think. And he didn't take any damage this round. He heals, yeah, six wounds. Back up I to full. I did three. Yeah. So, yeah. Excellent. Good start. Okay, that should be it, I think. So we go to Battle Shock. I don't know. What the, I don't think the bravery is that bad on Chaos Wars, but they can't inspire, so they yeah. lost three dudes. Only on a six year run. Ah, uh, eight. Yeah, you're right. Six year run. Whoa. Well, wow, three, they're good, they're good. Okay, perfect. I... Knights are the same, so I'm good there. Didn't lose any models there. Yeah, they're A-OK. -okay. I definitely owe, I owe you some. These guys are going to, I think... Do your ones per game? Yeah, and I'll save the command point for the next turn. I think I want them to die, because these guys can just... They can back up, and they can string out to try and screen this a little bit. Maybe. I mean, they should be able to fit through this. So, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, so that's what we'll do there. Uh, we're going to let them run away, and we're going to use our Indomitable on them to keep them around. I just want a unit of 20 to come back, so I want them to die. Your wolves also need it. On a 6, one wolf could decide to leave. Oh, he's gone. And they lose D6, because I don't want to inspire. <sighs> yeah, D6 is whatever. Two. Okay. Uh, that's a pretty good roll. Two crumble. <sighs> and one of these wolves is going to go away. I guess they... Uh, these guys are all dead too, so that will be it. So you get your battle tactic, and two. you get five points for objectives because of those two at least. You probably have that one as well. Mm -hmm. And then you have to roll on the Eye of the Gods table. I have to roll on Eye of the Gods there. And here. And technically, yeah, there. Yeah. Yep. The hero's uh, not in range over there. Which one would you like to do first? I'm going to do the Chosen first, and I'm gonna, what I do is I always roll two dice. Or, yeah. I'll yeah, you roll, you pick because you're uh, oh. on my... You, so... A seven? I think the seven heals. No, the seven's a six up ward. Is it the ward? Yeah. Ooh, the three to a five is very clutch pick for them right now. Undivided showing up big. That's the Flames of Chaos. The next time they're affected by a spell or the effects of a spell on a two-up, they ignore it. That's so going to save them from fading vigor. He does cast two spells, so what I'm going to have to do is Arcane Bolt and then burn your Flames of the... Because you have to use it on the next one, but I, these I can't fading vigor them because the order of how it works out. That's not bad at all. And we get to roll and on this guy. He gets to roll there, so let's see what he gets. Just gets the 11. Oh. That's Dark Apotheosis, but you could choose to take him. The... It would heal him? Oh, I think so. That's true, yeah. We're gonna take the Dark Apotheosis for the simple fact. We are gonna choose Dark Apotheosis. So it has to be placed within one inch of the other model. And uh, it doesn't say anything about the wound characteristic thing. So he's gonna come back as a fully healed Demon Prince with a trophy rack. Uh, marked of Nurgle as well. Uh, so that means you could do, you could take away ward saves, which is kind of cool. Yeah. With the heroic action. And uh, oh, okay, so all that damage I inflicted is now negated, which is not ideal, but uh, it's not so bad, I guess. I opt to place him here, still within an inch of the, the original model, but keeps the zombies in combat. Uh, just so I go, I have a, I have less access to a battle tactic, essentially. Okay, not bad, not bad. That should conclude the turn again. Kendrick's gonna get five victory points here. And uh, my entire, I put myself into a position where I am only gonna be able to keep getting points and putting up a fight if I get my next turn and priority because he's gonna have to retreat from the tar pit. I expected him to get tied up at the tar pit or the, I was hoping you'd go with the Chosen because that's the fight I wanted to do, but you were smart and didn't. So now I have to chase the Chosen down because that's who he wants to fight. Uh, however, I do have to retreat and then rely on a double turn. So we'll see how well that goes for me. We'll bring us to my turn though. We're gonna go to turn two for the Soul Blade Grave Lords and we're gonna roll some Primal Magic Dice just so I can show it off. I'm gonna contribute one to the pool. Huh. And you're gonna not help. Not. <laughs> All right, we got some updates on command points here and score. I'm down by five, but I get to do my turn. Uh, we're gonna go with Callus Overlord, I think. I'm gonna have these zombies die this turn. They're more than three away from the enemy. And uh, they're going to charge into some Chosen and try and kill him. And again, I'm still banking for a double turn here, so we shall see what we're able to accomplish. 
or to do as much damage to the Chosen as they can before they go down. Otherwise, I'm going to go for a... I don't need him to do much. I'll let you roll that on camera. Yeah, got to uh, just kind of remembered for the lines of communication. They all had attacked in the combat phase on a three up. It would have cost one more command point. So we got to be down by one. It just means you're at one. Doesn't change yeah. too much, and it fixes. This. You probably would have done it anyways. I yeah. assume. Yeah. Uh, I only remember that because I looked at the Legion of Blood heroic actions over there on that guy. I think I'm just going to heroic leadership on. Uh, I don't really know who. I'll do a Mortal Majesty. It's a bigger range than I thought. It's a 12-inch aura of all-out defense and inspiring presence costs an additional command point. Ooh. I'm not going to need the extra command point this turn, uh, especially gambling on a 4-up. This effect is more guaranteed. So, with those done, I'm I I'm going to pick mine. I'm oh, yeah, that's gonna, right. He's going to go for a command point. Smart. A 1. Oh. Nope. All right. Uh, and then I'm also going to use one of my command. I'm going to use Rally. Rally, oh. oh, yes. I'm going to use my Knights. Looking for 5s. Oh, Two to four. Dang it. It was fours. Got errata, though. Unless they unerratted they, they it. Errata, they, they didn't did not unerratted un it. <laughs> Fair. Would be your one and only command point for the turn. But I don't really plan on doing much damage to you this turn anyways. The Mystic Shield on them kept them quite healthy. So with that in mind, I'm going to do my deathly invocations, I guess. The only ones I can target are these zombies. They are near uh, a gravesite, so they're going to get... Uh, four models back. So we are going to add four here. That's because they're near the gravesite. They can't be targeted more than once. Uh, you know what they did? Uh, I don't know if it was like the FAQ for Deathly Invocation. I always thought it was just you pick one of your heroes to apply the effect to. I didn't realize it'd be all heroes when I was reading it. They're, they clarified it with an FAQ. Not that it would matter too, too, too much because you can't pick the same unit to benefit from it more than once still, but all the same. That should resolve that. Uh, the rest of my stuff, I got to figure out some spells here. This guy is going to cast Fading Vigor, most likely. I should do Fading Vigor on the Chaos Knights. I was debating on doing it on them just to bank, just to get it, but I'm gonna use two dice to cast. Uh, we're gonna roll perfectly, uh, cause I could stab. You know what that is? Oh, Fading, no, they changed the lore of uh, the Locust ability. So each one has a built-in one. This used to either target one unit twice or target two different units. That would be kind of cool if I could just, oh, free, free burn of the spell, but uh, that's gonna target them. And if it goes off, they actually lose two attacks oh. on everything. So they'll go, even on the charge, they'll go down to... There would be two attacks each? Yeah, because they're four on the charge, yeah. yeah. And then the mounts only have one. All right, so yeah. I'm going to attempt or to two. get rid of it with this guy. Yep. So rolling those dice. You do have a Primal Magic die. It's a seven, so you'll need to roll at least a four up on a Primal Magic die. But I'll that means, means I'll be free to Mystic Shield or I'll have yeah. a Primal Magic die for something I'm else. I'm on a Primal Magic. Boop, that's a two. No. All right, so they have Fading Vigor on them twice. twice. Warning, there's a debuff. Uh, he can cast two spells. The second one will be Arcane Bolt. Uh, ooh, that's a, that's a not... Oh, I get plus one to the roll, so I actually get it, I suppose. So I'm not going to throw a problem. I don't have anybody that's close. Really? The next guy's over there. Oh, fair. Okay, well, Because the other guy, you know... Oh, he's the Demon Prince now. Yeah, he's not a wizard. <laughs> Conversation. Boom. Just throw that at them to burn that spell, burn that effect. Uh, okay, so that's that done. His two spells. I, gotta, I don't know, I kind of want to Mystic Shield with him. Von Hell's Dance Macabre could be kind of cool, but I don't think I'm going to do any damage to that Demon Prince. I'm just going to Mystic Shield onto the Vampire Lord on the Zombie Dragon from the Necromancer. Uh, damn, you got a four. I will Primal Magic die that and risk the Primal Miscast. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Uh, not bad, not bad. As a nine. You could stop this one if you want to. I think. Or the Curse of a Sanguine. It could, if I'm super lucky, kill the Demon Prince. I guess, technically, but the way I just keep rolling every three is a mortal wound yeah. until, he, until you ward it or die. Or until I don't roll three up, I guess. Mm. Try and stop the Mystic Shield. That is a nine, so you have to roll a 10 on the dice. <gasps> An no. Eight. So the, the the zombie dragon is protected, but that's right. only in case I don't get a double turn. Six shield back on big boy there. We're going to cast Curse of Exsanguination on the Demon Prince, or at least try to. I think it's a seven, yep. He doesn't get the bonus to cast because he's fighting. Do you have any more unbinds, or you yeah. lost it when this guy... I lost my last unbind. All right, so the way this works, I'm going to roll a d6. On a three up, you'll take a mortal wound. You try to negate it. If you don't, and I apply the mortal wound, I just keep doing that over and over again until it's negated, until I don't roll a three up, or until you're dead. Uh, boop. All right, nope. done. <laughs> but technically, you always take a mortal wound for free. You so, can negate it, then I roll afterwards. Yeah, okay. sorry, guys. I should cast Spirit Kill. That would have been way better. Nope. Ah, take, take your damage, Demon Prince. Nine wounds left on him. Uh, 
that'll be it for my hero phase, I suspect. Yes, we are going to go to the movement phase where I'm going to shoot out my arcane bolt at you now. Okay. Would you like to walk? Do you ignore it? I, I, I can't not, so on the two up, I ignore uh, it. Oh my gosh, not the arcade bolt! So movement is going to have this necromancer run. We are giving up this part of the battlefield. It is all yours, sir. We got a five. I'm going to go the full distance back. I still want them to be affected by abilities. If, do you want to read? Oh, you have no command points, so I'm free to move. This thing will run to here, I guess, just to protect the necromancer. They're going to stay where they are. The dogs are... I'll think about it. I'll come back. Sorry, the dogs. I'll come back to the dogs later. Which was your... Hold on. Which one did you pick as your command, your battle tactic? They got to die. I thought you... Weren't you going to move them over? Oh, yeah. I'm just going to charge from where I am. Okay. Yeah. I, I could tech... I'm going to move a little bit because there's no redeploys, I suppose. But uh, the goal is to send in, try and do some mortal wounds, get within 12 of this thing. Blah, 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 blah. And then uh, you kill me back and you take more mortal wounds. And then I get a double turn for perfection. <laughs> that is the plan of attack. It's gonna consolidate there and charge in that way. Again, that's all good there. Uh, this vampire lord on the zombie dragon is getting out of dodge. If you could measure 14 inches towards this objective, is yes, right to the chosen. I'm gonna go uh, big fight on big fight. Here he is. He obviously can't do anything. He can't retreat and charge, retreat and shoot or anything like that, but I'm trying to posture for the third battle round. As well. Yeah, it's gonna be difficult to I didn't even see that castle over there. It's gonna be He's difficult. Hiding. It's gonna be difficult to get many points this turn. If I don't get priority, I pretty much automatically lose, which is unfortunate. But that's okay. That's the position I put myself in. And plus the obviously the hitting power. You, you rolled quite well. I crushed I through did. quite a bit of zombies. Yeah. That's uh, that's this just shows that quality beat a quantity in this one. But we have a lot of quality there. But unfortunately, the way the game works, you can't win a can't win with one model alone. Uh. I would like to, I don't know, this is a weird one, so I don't know if I want to commit to these fights and just like have them die and stuff or reserve for another turn. Can't steal any of these objectives because you have that gravesite blocked off there too, which is nice. Hmm. These zombies are, oh, do they want, no, he's probably going to kill them all this turn. Does he get bonuses if he charges? Oh, the extra attack for corn, He gets the extra attack, but that's it. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll retreat them. Measuring it up, these guys are going to end up kind of just running this way essentially. Again, everything I do, I do for the double turn. <laughs> oh, yeah, that guy's up there. So we'll go like this. E. Already must be mine. Ah. Uh, everything else over here is just going to move a little bit. I'll show you where it ends up. They're just going to creep up and around this way. We're going to slink him back a little bit. They're going to stay in combat. They're just going to walk forward. And everything else is moved. I'm going to roll to see if I get half of that 40-man brick back. Bloop. I do. Pop them up over here. Again, if I steal priority... I can charge onto the objective with these guys. Maybe get another unit when they die. Uh, I can move the corpse card in there to support it. Zombie dragon coming in this way. And I go from a losing flank to a potentially winning flank in one swift, extreme, powerful death move. Uh, we're done, though. I have no shooting because he retreated. And we're good to go to charging. The only charge I really care about will be these zombies declaring a charge. Four. Ooh. Good enough. You made it. <laughs> so we are in. That's my only charge. So we're just going to go ahead and fight right there. The Demon Prince is not a monster. So no rampages. I think we're good to go and keep going from there. And uh, let's just pile in with zombies. All right. I want your as many of your chosen attacking as possible. Uh, in this case, I have what looks to be 5, 10, 13 zombies attacking. They're holding within 12 of the corpse card. So we'll get some action going there. And... Uh, I got two command points. I guess I'll all out attack. I don't, I can't possibly think of what else I would do here. 13 twice. So threes to hit. Oh, that was a one. <laughs> and uh, everything hit except for one. That's amazing. I need fives to wound, but sixes are spicy. Two mortal wounds on the first half. And threes to hit with the second half. I would like to see those sixes again. Can I hurt you? Uh, four mortal wounds and one armor save. One armor? No! Oh, okay, these are all oracular visions. The five visions. I saved one. So all right. One. Oh, I killed two. I got two of them. Two chosen zombies. That's embarrassing. Imagine being chosen. Oh, there we go. And then you can uh, pile in an attack with the demon prince if you want to, which makes sense, I suppose. I lied. I just double checked the corpse card because I wasn't sure. It is in addition to their normal damage. Mm. Is that three more potential damage? It's two. Oh, two more. You roll a five over there. Two more oracular visions. Let's see what you get. 
Uh, all right. Oh no! Down to one wound on one more chosen. Go zombies! Go corpse guard. That's what I want too. Uh, we're gonna fight with the demon prince. Yep. All right. So five attacks hitting on threes, wounding on threes. Hey, there's a demon prince. Two misses. Uh, he's got the axe, I assume. Yeah. 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 Threes to wound. No point in defensing because uh, you're rent two. Two. Two of them. That's four damage. Yes, sir. Any other attacks? No. Yeah, it's a demon prince for you. Boom. Uh, two wards and two die. I'm just gonna have these two die there, I suppose, and they're gonna take no mortal wounds. Bloop and bloop. Hmm. But get get the word out there for demon princes in case anyone you know who has control over development for them. Make them like 400 points and absolute units on the battlefield. They used to be terrors in Warhammer Fantasy battles. It's what everything in your list wants to become. This thing is weaker than he is. In he's almost, almost weaker than him. Almost, he's almost weaker than him in a lot of ways. So the Demon Prince should be about like 400 points. Uh, maybe an extra, maybe a five, I'd say a five upward save instead of a six up. Or maybe even a heck, I'd say four, screw it, four upward save. Put him at 14 wounds. Couple give uh, him wings all the time. Maybe, uh, wings are trophy up to you. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's, I'd say four upward save. Uh, 14 or 12 wounds, absolutely. Give um, him a melee weapon and then talents. The ta both of them, absolutely. Yeah, so he Make always him gets... Always a wizard, unless he's corn. Then he gets a... Extra attack. Whatever corn rule you want, absolutely. Yeah. Give him the extra attacks. Make him a monster who can rampage without being a monster. That's a very powerful effect. If you yeah. can do monstrous rampages without being a monster. And what would be interesting is... Make him a level 2 wizard, too. What, well, you know what? Make yeah. it so you can either choose to have him be a wizard or he gets a free command ability. Or a uh, heroic action. Sure, Always yeah. give him a heroic oh, action that he yes. does all by himself. I forgot, yeah, like he could always do those in addition to your army yeah. doing a heroic yep. action. Because Absolutely, there's yeah. so many heroic actions in this army yes. that having that little bit for those points would be perfect. I think so too, yeah. Because right now the Demon Prince is fine, whatever, but it's it's lacking that imposing. Then again, that's me coming from like old fantasy where they were like almost banned in some games with how good they were. But also, it's also important to note that the literally the previous model <laughs> the book that they had before this one, he was so good. I remember him being pretty damn he, good. He yeah. could blend. Like, he yeah. would go into a unit and just be like, oh, I'm going to do a bunch of damage. And yeah. then you expect him to die because he's not sturdy. Yeah. But he just does a lot of damage and then can just, like, push a line. Yeah. But then this book came out and you're like, huh? Like, where, where did that damage go? I just got a good idea for the corn one. If he was corn, he could heal wounds based on the amount of damage he deals. Feasting, cool. feasting on their blood kind of thing. Yeah, yeah the, blood, the blood drinker. Yeah, exactly. I'd say something like that. Or whatever, an artifact or an ability like that. I think maybe, actually, I think that might be the corn heroic action. Might be, uh, maybe not. Oh, I can't remember. Anyways, you guys get the idea. We want the Demon Prince to be like, oh, damn, you brought a Demon bring, Prince. Bring back the Demon Prince. Yeah, so that way, dark, but make Dark Apotheosis like a double six again. So it's not as likely. Yeah. You don't want to get like a free 300 points or something. On yeah. A, yeah. Yeah, good. I, I get why they were reserved with it. I think they were just a little too reserved. They pulled him back just a little too far. Just yeah. a smidge. Or, I mean, even right now, if you just up his points by like 40 and give him the talents, I'd be oh, okay with that. I'd be okay with the talents as it costs now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm done. I guess I can attack you here now. Yeah. I might as well. Why not? Mm -hmm. uh, we, don't, we do not want to bring in the Warriors of Chaos. We're just going to pile in. Don't give them a free movement. <laughs> yeah, we don't want them to have a free move. So it should be just like... Something like this. Only like seven or so attacking. Let's go with the... Uh, should be fours? You are Nurgle, so keep yep, that in mind. Minus one to wound. So it'll be fours and sixes. Yeah. Was I cheating? When I all out attacked them, it would have been different. I would have had less hits. Now, I would say it's mathematically the same. Either way, it doesn't really matter. However, they have an ability where they do mortal wounds on wound rolls. So taking the all out attack on the hit roll technically gave me more access to mortal wounds. So I'm just going to reroll their attacks. It'll be quick and easy to resolve. Won't matter at all. I just don't want to uh, take more than what I'm due, you know? Quick to resolve later, though. I, for whatever reason, swap their profile in my head. It makes sense. They hit worse because they have bad weapon skill. So this is the no wounds on them, on Sora on the Demon Prince. So they were all out attacked, so they're hitting on fours. And if it's the same result, I won't bother changing anything. It's like you the did, same you result. Did very good. It's like a, immediately like the same result. Uh, five, fours to wound. So it's a one mortal wound and three saves. Oh, sorry, four saves and a mortal wound on the first half. Then the other one is going to be this, because they're fours to hit. Whatever else we roll that. Oh, there we go. And uh, two mortal wounds and another save. Oh, sorry, two more saves. I got over here. Threes. Okay, and then I just three wards. Yeah, you just rolled well. That's fine. I don't, I, like I honestly do not care either way. And uh, so three. one guy. So what would have happened is we're gonna go like this. This guy's gonna have one wound left. 
And then this guy dies. That's it. Effectively, the one guy with one who's now fully dead, that guy has a wound left there. And everything is good in the world! These guys can pile in and fight. <laughs> Normally, I would love to just say, I'll just pull them, they're probably dead, but that is a victory points involved, so I got to not. But, you know, Kendrick was kind of piling with them all to attack with them also. Here, all right, threes to hit. Oh. Ooh. Awesome. We got that many hits. Five sixes. Five mortal wounds in addition. Hey, look, Looking good for my battle tactic. Uh, needing threes. Yes, and I'll have no save against it because I used all that attack. I don't know. I probably should have all the defense for sure here. Oh, mm. uh, how many are we looking at? So that's five, ten, eleven. Eleven so minus two. So sixteen. Uh, so eleven minus two. Oh, it's minus. Oh, it should be minus one. It's minus one. Yeah, but so I have right, no, armor, no armor against it. Uh, so that's 22 damage, plus the five, that's 26 damage. I, I just don't feel like rolling my ward saves. <laughs> They're dead. One, Wait, two, three, four, oh, five, I, six, I, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four, uh, thirteen. 13, I keep counting. 13 are going to try and drag you down with them, though. Yep. Uh, five, six, so, yep, 13. Fives for mortal wounds. Oh, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six mortal wounds. All right, grab six dice. Oh, good call, good call. Oracular visions. All right, oh. I kill two more chosen with that, yeah. and that is my battle tactic complete. Uh, we're gonna keep that one guy. We're gonna swap this guy to this guy. Okay. On the on the removals, only because that would give me the objective with the amount of models you pulled off. Oh, okay. So we're gonna keep you scored or to keep it from me scoring points because you should have one, two, three, four, five guys in range, yeah. and you control the before to my five. So yeah. okay, all good there. And, uh, that will end my turn. I think. Great. Uh, they don't have the battle shock. They're good. They only lost two. Classic demon print stuff. Uh, I'm scoring no primary points. I couldn't do it. You got on the objectives. Obviously, I'm not going to push you off with zombies. And I got tar pitted there, so it didn't quite work out well for me. And uh, I, was hoping, I was hoping to kill more and make him run away. But the Mystic Shield, I, I should have dispelled it there. Would have killed a few more models. Uh, we got the all-important roll-off. Mm. Are you ready? I don't turn, know. turn two to three. You win ties. You want to roll first? Or you want me to roll first? I want you to roll first. All Although right. you, I think because you rolled first last time, you get to choose. You roll first. You want me to roll first? I don't know what right. I this is the number you have to beat. I gotta beat a five. Ooh, a one in six chance. Three. All right. Okay. Well, I knocked your die around two. There we go. Uh, that guy's at nine wounds left. It means it's probably game over. Took a gamble. It didn't work out. Oh no. But uh, we are gonna see what your turn looks like. All the same. Okay. Roll Primal Magic, uh, we get both one. It's an overall update on the score here. I only got 70 or 10, so we'll see how this goes. Pick a character to cast two spells with. I am a little afraid to pick this guy because you have the Chosen who could just kill, fight, pile in, and kill him as well. Uh, I wish wish I was I wish I was smart and ran them to get... Oh, they might be within range all the same for his uh, three inch. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm going to pick this dummy. There you go. This dummy's going to cast two spells. Let's see how well that's going to go for him. And I have to pick a phase for you to suffer in, potentially. I'll still go combat phase. Like, what? I could do movement or charge. Uh, you could also do command phase, because right now I can rally. That's true. That's true. Uh, ooh, no, I'll do... I'm going to do... I'm going to do combat still. Yep, makes combat. sense. Um, yeah, there's yeah. no bad choice, I don't think. I think. I think, yeah, it doesn't really matter too, too much. Combat might hit more if you try to do, because there's one more order you might do there. Uh, am I going to rally anywhere? No, I, don't prob I probably won't. For the battle tactic, you're thinking... Intimidating invader, because yeah. I'm pretty much on your side of the board with more than half of my units already, because there's one, two, three, you could, four. You could do the charge with three things, one. Cause yeah. You, yeah, that might be... Because you're going to you can intimidate later. Yeah. Yeah, because you're going to try... They could charge... Charge, charge, they're all charged. Well, I can't really like interrupt. They could charge too. So I think that's probably a little bit more efficient. Yeah, because realistically, because of the way this, I mean, I'm not going to move him, but I will move these guys. Yeah. And then you could, using a command point, run away and get into my zone so this guy doesn't want to go backwards. Yeah. <laughs> Never backwards. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know. That's the chaos one. I don't know what that one's called, though. Uh, I think it's called Run Them Down. From yeah, the I'm going to go Run Them book. Down. So three charges this turn. Not impossible. Mm -hmm. And then we got to... Do you want to do Drawn Power for an action, or do you want to do something else? I think I'm going to do Command Point, because I want an extra. Sure, so yeah. So I'm going to swing with this guy. I'm going to swing my General for the Command Point. General. That makes sense. Boo. One. All right. Lots of ones. I like those days. <laughs> I, I do not do well with that. that uh, yeah, I try to avoid doing it now, too, because I it just it just doesn't ping off. I don't need the command point as bad, so I'm probably going to go with one of the Legion of Blood ones. Okay. Premeditated bloodshed in case you think about going for the Vampire Lord. Uh, well, I mean, 
it's more of an offensive one instead of a defensive one, but it makes it so you uh, can't take ward saves against his attacks. Mm -hmm. Ranges. What are we, are we gonna oracular vision the marauders? He is gonna oracular visions this guy. Oh, fine yeah. then. Fine. Um, this guy's gonna oracular visions these guys because it's just. And yeah. that's, those are the only sorcerers we got left now. Yeah. He's doing bigger, better things right now over here with zombies. And we got some two spells to cast with these sorcerer lords. Before I move on to my spells, I am going to do my rally. So oh, yes, one of fair. My commands. I'm not sure. Do I roll the three dice or do I roll the two dice? Knights are right now less efficient because oh, of their spell. Fading Vigor, they're real hard. I'd, I'd probably do them myself. But if I do them, they have enough potency to kill everything that I want to go after. Oh, they're already They in. don't, but if I go into them and I have five of them... Ah. Uh. They could do the work. Well, I'll let you decide on I'm gonna, that. One. I'm going to go over here again and probably, probably not get any knights back. And let's see. Fives. Well, it didn't matter what you... Roll me one more die. See if it would have mattered. Nope. So you didn't make the wrong call at all. <laughs> didn't. What do you want to cast I'm going to do with? chaos, uh, the power, uh, the demonic power over here. Demonic power. A six. That works. I'm going to... Oh, do you want to... Uh, I think I'm going to sling a dice. Sling a die? All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use your little dice over here. Little blue guy. And add a six. Well, a six and a... There was a four there on that a, three. Yeah. You actually first. flipped it completely over. That's funny. All right. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's plus one to hit and wound for those guys, essentially. So try and stop it with... Ah, he's got plus one to unbind. Yeah, I'll do him. Why not? Boom. Dispel. Ooh, a nine. I have a primal magic die as well. It works. I stop your demonic power. This guy, he's going to cast Arcane Shield on these guys. Mystic Shield? I know. <laughs> the worst. A nine. It goes off. I will. I'm just going to roll with this guy, and if he's not in range, I will. You got it. It's all yours. Yeah. It was within 30, but not quite able to stop it. So that was Mystic Shield. shield no demonic power. Up. Here come. If you, you, if you, I, I will be rolling for one zombie in it to show up at the end of your movement phase. Boom, here comes the Chaos Knights. Ba da da. I'm gonna bother redeploying anything there. Um, My bum. chosen are gonna move up towards the corpse cart. So I'm moving for you. Yes, please. Kind of go like up. So what do they move? Five? -ish? They have a five-inch move. Yeah, it's gonna be something like this. Hey. Them moving there, I'll probably redeploy the necromancer. And I'll, if he's retreating, I'll definitely redeploy the necromancer here. Slink away, you dummy. Three. Three's not bad. Three's not bad. He's just gonna go tuck it in a little bit closer to these zombies. He's not gonna get too far. He's gonna get to about here. <laughs> can wait for these chaos warriors with oracular visions to uh, beat up some zombies. Coming up over there. Did we move that sorcerer or is he... He did move. He, he came up and... Protecting the gravesite. He's holding back the gravesite, <laughs> although... <laughs> yeah, we got some zombies over there. We got a necromancer. We got stuff. We got stuff. Uh, that's well. That's pretty much it for... Oh, here comes the chaos lord. Yeah, chaos yeah. lord's going to go right here. Go uh, I think I'm going to advance him. Sure. Extra four. That way he can go like... Just without having to worry about it. Yeah. Then we're going to move the marauders in the back. Gonna commit to moving towards the dogs a little bit, but not give up the grave site uh, so that I can utilize it. And uh, that is, uh, is that it for your movement? That is my movement. I gotta roll to see if I get that unit of zombies back. It's a six, I do. do. 20 zombies back in the game. That was from the the second reinforced unit that's died. Everything oh. else was be 10 units. 10, that 10 other units. unit that Chosen killed. <laughs> yeah. So I've decided the river was full of dead, or at least there's bodies flowing down the river from somewhere. Uh, more than nine away from dumb wizard nerd, and more than nine away from them. Uh, just to put pressure on this objective when the zombie dragon eventually wants to leave it. That brings us to your charge phase. So apparently there's no shooting, so where do you want to start? I'm going to start over here with this guy. He's crack, crack, Lord. Welcome to a seven. Pray. He's he, going to he, try to heal himself. Got he a six. He heals D3. D3 he's so only missing he's, one. He's yeah. only missing one, so he's back to full. He's a priest. Idolated Lord. Uh, they're going to charge. I don't have the carrot, the... The, the horn, horn blower. Horn is gone. Well, so don't roll it's it just one. raw dice. Hey, good enough. Yeah. There you go, and then the chosen. Good enough. They get plus two to it still. Yep. Flash. That's two. You, that's three. That's battle tactic finished. Uh, and then I'm gonna charge with the warriors. I think I'm actually gonna go into the dragon because you were right. The that thing's if, charging ability is so nasty. Yes. If you let him, that means uh, that means you force me to have to unless they just buckle to him or something. But yeah. yeah. Ah. Boom. All right. They get plus one because they still have their instrument, so they're at a six. So the nice that he so before you do charge into him, he does have the heroic action up. Where if you want to all out defense, it does cost two command points. You won't have enough to all out defense. Yep. But and also you uh, made it so it costs more on a three. Yes. Yeah. So we're we're doubling up on this. this is kind of a a conservative play here. Hopefully, just uh, muckle him up with. Uh, 
Just a lot of damage on this. There's no Mystic Shield on them either, so I might actually get some damage through. Yeah. I take back what I said. I did not do that one heroic action. I did the no ward save, didn't I? That one's still effective because they have oracular visions on them, so yeah. I guess I got that. So they're both good. I, you can all out defense, uh, but it might cost you an extra command point. So I am going to rely on that, I suppose. I'll still stomp, and roaring and the extra command point thing is the exact same uh, percentage of working, so... We'll see. Yep. Into the back of the dragon. They do not want to let him get away that easily. Get over here. That should Pull be for charging. Tail. That should be it. Yep. I will do my rampage. I'll stomp on those chaos warriors. Uh, it works. Good thing. And a single border wound, but you do get your shield against it. Oh, nope. One, I take one, it. One so damage. One damage. Got to go with the Cracker Drake Lord first, because he always strikes first, which will chain into them, and then you'll get your pick. Yep. So Cracker Drake gets five attacks because he's corn. Corn. And I charged. Got two Ooh. misses. And threes to wound, I assume. Yep. That is one. One. Rend of two? Rend of one. So it's six uh, up. It's two damage. Two damage so far. Four attacks with the steel. Oh, two mortal wounds, maybe? One mortal, one set of mortal wounds. Ooh. One mortal wound, I believe. Right, and then three threes. damage so far. Two of them. Rend of one or two? Uh, this is two. Okay, no problem. D3s. Two D3, then it is. Wow. I knew one of them was rend two. Ooh, five. Mount. And the uh, weird dragon thing. One miss. They Fours? Oh, I see. I see. Fours and threes. Well, he sucks at fighting. Can't even hit a dog. Three wounds. Those are end one. Rend one minus, and they're two damage. Fail all those. That's a six additional damage. We're at 14 damage on the unit. <laughs> He's got 11 here. I don't roll enough to keep him alive. One, two, three, four dead. I would have a few more to roll for more damage, but they're all dead. All the same. All right. That is still on pace for things coming back. I think you're going to go with these Chaos Knights next. Uh, why not? They get plus one attack for corn. Yep. Uh, they're to back their... to their normal. <laughs> Yeah, back to their normal attacks. Uh, using order of operations there, it is addition then subtraction, but it still puts you at two, so. Yeah. All right, let's see what you got. I need to hit on fours. Fours. <laughs> Chaos Knights. Hey, not a bad roll. Half. Yeah. And should be threes? Mm-hmm. Twos, because of the banner. Oh, banner, banner, of course, banner. So uh, that's four at minus two. No save there. I say damage. Uh, It's two damage each. Wow. Horses. <laughs> I need to... The horses also get the negative that you're doing? Correct. Yeah. They'll get the bonus from the corn as well. So they only got one attack apiece. They're one, they're one normally? Okay, they're so two, they... They're two normally, but then corn gives them plus one, so then they go down to... Back down to one, yeah. Okay. One attack each with the horses. So eh? I messed that up. So there we go. We got two hits, and threes or fours to one? It's threes because of the banner. The banner! Hey, nice. Rend on the horses, probably not. Make Whoa, one, save one zombie save. I'm charged. Ba 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 ba. Make one ward, eight to eye. Make eight from within three. And I will deal no mortal wounds. Well, I'm just gonna pull from the back because they're just gonna end up piling in anyways. Five. Uh, leave two here. Boopity boop. You get your pick, which I assume will be. I'm them. gonna do the chosen because then you have to pick the either the those guys who don't matter yeah. or this. I'm always gonna go with him last as yeah. much as I can. Yeah. Seven of them attacking. Ooh, I'm gonna reroll that. Should be. Threes to hit here, sixes are mortal wounds in yep. addition. Uh, I got Lots of hits, two sixes for two mortal wounds. Yep. And threes. Oop. 20 something damage on it. It goes up. It doesn't do anything dramatic though. Boom. Redeploy on the Necromancer saved him from their despoiler ability. Uh, they could again activate and pile in and fight again uh, with strikes last, but that is not, not, so now is not the time for that, essentially. My pick. The only logical pick is to fight with them. You're probably wondering why, but I want him to get damaged, and then I'll heal. So they're not really going to pile in. A few guys are just going to crunch up to get their attacks in, but no one's going to, like, overextend because they can't really. Cleaning it up a little bit. What do we got there? 6, 10, 12. It'll be 24 attacks. Fives to hit. Fours to wound. Now I'm not going to do any command abilities. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, fives to hit. Would have been three more hits. Uh, one wound. Hypothetical. <gasps> Well, one more save. Not worth the command point. Uh, one. Three up save. Three up save. You're good. Excellent. Yet again, I forgot Unleash Hell against those Chaos Warriors. That's okay. It, it might always amount to nothing. That's the thing. So it's not bad that I'm forgetting it. I'm just using it for other things. Uh, that's it. And My it is pick. a command point. Yeah. You get to go with them now, sir. Okay. <laughs> uh... Not piling in much. You don't want to drag... Yeah, you don't want to drag the zombies in, so... Nope. You only get six of them attacking? Yep. Here we go. Threes and threes. Boom, boom, boom. Yep, no real negatives on my part. And they're only doing two attacks per guy here. Uh, a couple fails overall. Five, six, six saves. So I go right back to a three up because I had Mystic Shield on him. Three up. Fail one. 
Yay! Ward, we take a damage. Oh my god, you can heal it. <laughs> oh, I'm probably gonna heal it. He is gonna attack them right back. Would you like to risk the all out defense? He'll burn the command point if I roll three up though. That have no effect at all. Or you can save it for your next turn to so rally. So how does it work in timing? Do I say I'm gonna do it and then we roll the dice or do, we, do you roll the dice to see if it works and then I can use it or I can't? Uh, you declare you're gonna do it. I roll a three up and if I hit the three up, it just fails and you lose the command point. It only works if you have a second command point to do it. So you burn, you risk burning the command point in total. Otherwise, you could save it for a rally on your chosen on your turn and have a command point for something else. I think I'm gonna have to not, I'm just gonna have to wait. Well, I'll do the hypothetical roll though. Oh, Dang. sorry. I hate to, I hate to do the knife twist. I thought, I, 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 no, you made the right call. No, in I'm hindsight, not, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, I'm not, I'm not upset about the call. I'm, it's just, ooh, that could have been. Uh, we'll see how many well, I would have saved. Correct. We'll, we're gonna make the count. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna see if it even matters. I will all that attack against you though. In combat and bloodthirst, this attack with the mouth. These are, uh, I do lose the plus one wound I had last turn, so I'm gonna remember that. Threes to hit. Okay, well, got me one more hit. Thank you. Normally threes to wound, but Nurgle. Uh, oh, there you go. Nurgle saved you. Well, that attack just keeps the math same as it was before, but doesn't feel great. Oh, nice. Four. At, uh, normally, Ren 1, you don't care about that, so three up saves. You're only looking at twos. If you roll twos, it feels bad. All right, so I killed. That That means one warrior's dead because of it. Yeah. Wounds in addition. We're, yeah. We're, we're adding in two. And the oracular visions, again, won't work because of the heroic action. Let's try that death lance out. Twos. And I think... These, <laughs> not the one in the yeah. two. These I think are just rent two. So rent one. one, so four up saves. Whoa. Save Ooh, one, nice. take one. That's uh, just two more damage. Two so more the defense seven. thing only really matter for the one. So we're gonna lose this guy. Boom, boom. Yep, yeah, so we killed three of them. Yep. And on the leadership check. And I'll heal back up to full one. Yep, yep. Should, yeah, bring us to the end there. I lost nine. They're good. <laughs> sure. These guys, I need to roll a six to lose a guy. A three, you're good. Holding, holding, holding. All right, so you got your battle tactic. Yep, so I got my, I got five again. Yes, you got five again, yeah, because you're on Cause one. Because I hold two. that one. You, I don't yeah, hold this one. Yeah, you got this one. So you kept the amount of models on it to uh, beat my zombies. Yep. So, or at least contest, same idea. And um, that's all. That's all sure. The mouth, if the mouth on the zombie dragon could have hit a little bit more, I would have put a lot more pressure on those uh, chaos guys there. So it puts a lot of pressure on my upcoming turn. I'm not too sure. Part of me kind of, because they don't have Mystic Shield, part of me just wants to sit there and fight them, but I'm giving up not really too much, because if I get if I don't get priority, I lose. That's a hard fact, that's it. I can get three points on my turn for a battle tactic and getting this objection, because I do have the zombies. The zombies can charge this guy, make him annoying, I guess, uh, to deal with him, but we'll see. Or they can go for that, I, but that doesn't give me victory points. That's the thing. Yeah, I mean, it kind of helps, I suppose. It kind of helps. And you do have wolves coming. Maybe, on a three up. <laughs> they can't charge though. If we get any primal magic. Oh, that was a dumb idea. We get one. We just one, all right. And this is kind of where we stand. You got seven, you got 15. So you're doubling me out on points. If I don't get a priority, I just lose. And I know you that. You still get a turn, so you yes, can try to get your five. Yeah. Best bet is for him to destroy them, essentially. So he's gonna have to stay in combat, breathe on them, fight, all that good stuff. We're gonna have to get some zombie support going. We're gonna have to have a lot of so things the big, out here. So one of the big things to think about though is he has uh, the Conqueror's Helm. Yeah. So if you, these guys don't count for holding objectives. Well, it depends on the range of it though. I think it's six inches. Yeah, because the zombie dragon counts as five. So yeah. he's already beaten you there for it. Yeah, no, but. They're probably gonna go fight over there, I think. Oh, okay. Just go get more zombies and Give, if I wipe them or make them run away or something like that, I can double turn and get the objective. Gotcha. I think that's my plan of attack. So, my battle tactic, however, I gotta think on that. Because I think these guys can come up and around and do a charge and just take this objective back. I'll have this objective, and that'll get, and if I get my battle tactic, that's a five point turn. If I get a priority, we're in it. I think expanding the Grave Empire is another, the position I'm in is an automatic one. So I have to control two objectives wholly outside of my territory with summonable units and, and or vampire units. So I got a vampire unit controlling this one and I have a summonable unit controlling this one. Assuming they don't die, but I mean, I got a lot coming in, so we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Heroic action is gonna be not premeditated bloodshed. It's be immortal majesty. I just don't want them using all the defense because it just makes it cost two no matter what now. So if you choose to rally, if you don't get a heroic leadership, you won't be able to all out defense them. So we'll see, we'll see. That's my uh, battle tactic in action. What would you like to do? 
I think I'm going to try to get a command point over here. Leadership. Five. So he has a command point. Who would you like to rally? I am going to use that command point to rally those. We're three missing guys. three honored friends. And for fives. Two come back. That's six nice. wounds worth of chosen. That is good. Two out front there. Okay, they're back. They weren't truly dead. I am good to go to spell casting, I suppose. Uh, a couple things I want to do. Well, missing shields gone, so I can't get rid of that. This guy's going to wait on his cast. This necromancer is going to cast Waste Away because he doesn't need to really do anything else. Bam. Got it with an eight. Uh, that'd be kind of good to have on the Demon Prince as well if I want a Primal Magic Die, but I won't have enough to Primal Magic Die and Mystic Shield, which I think is a little bit more important, but if I'm shooting for a double turn, probably not. So I'm going to Primal Magic Die this one. Ooh, there we go. So what this does is it gives a unit minus one to wound and minus one damage on its attacks. Mm -hmm. So I'll target them and him with it. So they'll both be kind of eh, iffy. But I have no more Primal Magic Dice, so... It just means that I can safely I'm charge. I'm going to use him to try to just see what I roll. Uh, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, you can't... Uh, oh, Primal Magic Dice, I see. Yeah, yeah. Five? You won't I'm not be able worry to... about it. Yeah, fair, fair. So minus one damage, minus one wound, minus one wound. The damage won't affect them. Wasting away... Uh, we're going to go with our caster over... Mm, let's just do a Mystic Shield on him, because I don't think I care about... Oh, is Mystic Shield as cool as like, Sanguinate? He has a 6 up board save. How many wounds does he have? Him? Yeah. I think it's 6, but it might be 5. It's not likely to kill him with six. Curse of Exsanguination, but killing a Chaos Lord with Curse of Exsanguination would be pretty spicy. It yeah. would be fun. Uh, Mystic Shield's probably... But I'm can, not... He can push the wounds up on them. What's the range of a 6? Or th he's outside of three here. We're gonna come back to him. That that's a fun pick. It's pro I, 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 arcane bolt is also pretty good just to do any damage to them as I can. But this guy is gonna cast fading vigor first of all. Oh, he got it with a nine. That's the that's minus two attacks. So yeah. we're gonna probably want to stop. I'm not within range. You're gonna try over there with this guy. So I got a nine. You're gonna roll two dice, an eight. So if you use primal magic, you'll stop it. I'm gonna primal. Done. All right. Done. So no more primal magic. I don't get my fading vigor. And his second spell. <sighs> Missed. Arcane shield. <laughs> arcane shield. I'm gonna uh, arcane bolt, I guess, because there's no there's no one to von hell's. So uh, I got a bolt. So he's gonna bolt uh, probably those chaos warriors a little bit later, or I could just kill a chosen off. I guess that's not bad either. That's probably better actually. I want a Curse of Exsanguination that Chaos Lord so bad, so I'm just going to do it. I'm just... Ah, oh, but I won't have Mystic Shield on him. Ah. Uh, oh, come on. I know, I know. I haven't hurt you yet. I know. Okay, let's do... It's just that that's like... That's a step in the direction of failure, though, if you don't keep buffing him up. But let's Curse of Exsanguination. Seven. Oh, I got it. Nice. No way to stop it, right? I don't have any way to stop. So you take a mortal wound, and then a six-up board save. All right. Uh, huh. Ah. There, okay, no Stop damage. The Ooh. As end o magic phase. Uh, for moving, a couple simple things. Keeping the zombie dragon where it is. Those zombies are going to move that direction. These zombies are going to retreat. And those zombies are coming up and around. And these zombies are moving up. I'll do it in that order. Move them out of the river. They only move four, so they're not quite as fast. And then they come up and around. No redeploys or anything. They move up this way. And then the chosen, like, ooh, 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 us, us, us. They're going to redeploy. Uh, four inches. So they're going to get as close to the neck girl as they can. Uh, that would be four would take you pretty much like up to here-ish. You can kind of go up and around him a little bit, staying three away, generally. Yep. Hey. Free movement with Chosen is nice. Yeah, gets him off the board, keeps him, keeps him in the game. Uh, and then I am going to, I'm just going to, I was going to uh, hit him with an arcane bolt here anyways. Yep. You just take a guy. Yeah, that guy falls Ooh. over. He's gonna run an extra one. Nice. Five inches. Yeah. Right? Well, he actually moves five. He moves five. Three to three. He's gonna end up about three, three. Uh, hopefully that helps him. I don't know if it will. It depends on how they charge, really. Then the last thing to move, which I forgot, were these zombies were going to retreat. They're just gonna go. Let's stay outside of three, I guess. So it's gonna go. Boop. Just a little three inch move. Backing it up there. Uh, that will bring us to the end of the movement phase. We have dogs showing up on a three up because it's my movement phase. One. Not yet. So we lost a little bit of pacing on that. It would have been good to have for a double turn. I could have had them show up over here, over there, put more pressure over here. But all is looking well. I should be lined up to get a, a five-point turn, I hope. Uh, it all really depends on how this goes. But it should go well. Uh, we're good to go ahead and start shooting. I'm going to have Pestilential Breath on those Chaos Warriors. 
Six. That's spicy. But you could just. Uh, let's see what we got here. Threes to hit. Uh, I'm tempted to all out attack, but it wouldn't have mattered. Good call. And threes to wound. The Nurgle thing is only in melee. Two of them at Ren 1. You should have a four up because the icon is also melee. Ooh, that's cool. six damage. You have a ward save against it, though. Is that why you have oracular vision still? Sixes. Okay. Take one. Uh, still kills three because the guy was wounded. So this guy dies. Boom. We'll kill him. A couple guys over there. Yeah, I'll kill him over here. Bam. Excellent. We're good to charge. The only char well, let's do let's do that charge up there. The zombies are gonna play a charge. They're gonna roll a three. That's a fail. Four to victory. Eh? Let's see. Let's see. Is that important for now? It kind of is to slingshot them up that way. Let me see what this charge looks like, because this charge is technically more important. If it's a five inch charge for them to get in there, they could mess up the Marauders a little bit, deny some options, get some of the bottles back over. The problem is this is a nine inch charge. Well, it's not really a nine inch charge. You know what? I'm going to reroll their charge, because I could just like charge the Sorcerer and then pile in a little bit and maybe help out a bit here. These guys will help out too. So we'll see. And then they have a charge to get in. So I'm going to reroll this one, because I kind of want this one to work as well. Oh, a 12. There you go. You can go wherever you want. We're just going to get on up in there. Yeah, the dragon's in the way. Kendrick is going to move those for me. 12 right into the Marauders. I'm going to roll a couple of other charges up. These guys are going to declare a charge at 11. Spicy. You know what? I'm actually going to get the Necromancer in there too. See if I can. A 6? Probably not. Short. Let's go with this unit declaring a charge. they got to roll kind of... Oh, 9 is 9. 9 actually go. gets them in over here. It yeah. does. You know, charging in like that, getting towards the Sorcerer as well. Uh, that is it for my charges. I am going to uh, just stomp on the chaos and uh, the sorry the chaos warriors uh, and deal a single mortal wound. But you have oracular visions. I also have my ignore mortals, but I didn't. True, I forgot I got the shields. Shields up, so, only one damage. That's it. So one. And uh, that is it for the monsters rampages. There's anything else to really do. I'm just gonna fight with those zombies first to try and do as much damage to the Marauders and get a bigger unit. Brains. They're within 18 of the general. I do kind of need the all-out attack to help the zombie dragon out here. So I'm gonna save it for himself. I'm just, they're just gonna roll fives to be gods. They're all kind of up in there. So I got. Uh, I hate when I hit things. Get too close. Hard to see. Three, seven attacking this way. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve that way. That doesn't make sense. I'm missing a model. Let me count again. If you find it, there's a zombie lingering in the back. It'd just be somewhere around here. Yeah. Hey. Okay, so we got eight, 12. Easy. There are the 16 attacks into the sorcerer. Fives to hit the sorcerer. I'll just reroll this miss. You guys, oh, nice. Force to wound. The sorcerer is going to take four wounds, but you have a save. Four up on the sorcerer. Sorcerer takes three damage. Wounds left on that sorcerer. Then I got 24 attacks into the marauders. Here's the first half. Fives to hit. We got... Three hits on the first half. I'll just do the other hits. The armor. It will be fives and fives. So three hits, and then these hits. I'll just add three to it from the first volley, which will be all of this. And we'll go over here. Fives to wound because the Nurgle stops one, stops two of them, one save. Yep. Or four up. Four sorry. Up. Four up. Yeah. Of... All good. All good. That means I get no zombies back in the unit later because I didn't kill nothing. Wah -ha. Warriors are going to go. So these warriors are just going to pile in him. Fight some zombie action. Zombie dragon. What's this split look in here? So there's three here. There's four there and four there. All right. The three. Okay. Hitting on threes. And wounding on fours because of uh, waste thing. away. Yeah. Didn't ball only really count matter. Yeah, it counted once. One Ward. Damage. Ward. Oh, jeez, okay. You're good. We're good there. So this should be a one wound left. Four going there, so. Those but zombies. The sergeant is there, so. Four shots into the upper zombie group. Sorry, that's a little blurry, everyone. Uh, the one miss, two misses. Yeah, fours. Two, three! Yep. Uh, right to ward saves. That was these three. Mm -hmm. I'll lose one, two, three. I'll just do the mortal wounds on him now, I guess. One mortal wound on the demon prince. He's got six up ward save because he's a demon prince. He takes it. He's got eight remaining wounds. Are the eight attacks going in there? All right, bring it on. Oh, nice, good hit. <laughs> Nothing. That's a bad roll. I will go next with these zombies, I guess. They're right here, and I'm already looking at them. Don't really need to pile in. I got three. Six attack of the Chaos Warriors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Attacking the Demon Prince. All right, five said the Demon Prince. We got two hits in the first half. Second half is going to be all this plus two. So we got six hits. Wounded the Demon Prince. Uh, those two. Uh, three of saves. And a ward. <laughs> Double two. Ward. Save one, oh, he one. takes one. He's at seven. seven. 
bad, and then I had the, what, six, uh, 12 attacks up there. Lazy. Here's five, one hit, and three hits in total. Look at that. These are gonna wound on fives because of Nurgle. Nothing. Not whatever, I don't care. No, it's a fail. All right, that's my attacks done there. You can go with the Chaos Sorcerer Lord, the Demon Prince, uh, all the stuff up there. I think I'm gonna go with the... It makes sense to go with the Sorcerer Lord because sure. you haven't attacked yet. One attack with the staff, that's a one. And then two attacks with the dagger. Stab, stab. Uh, the blade. Two hits. And three's to wound. One of them. Rend of one? Nothing. Rend nothing. Six up. And award. He. He got oh. one. One is going to die here, I suppose, and see if he can do a Chaos Warrior. Hey, well, more to wound on a Chaos Warrior. Oh, that's a dead. It'd be one of the ones around this here were dead. Yeah, boom. And then you take that die. Gonna go with them. Get the piling another way. We'll pile in some that way. Pile in some that way. All right, that is it. I got seven attacking up that way and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven attacking that way. It's easy. Teen attacks into the Warriors of Chaos first. Fives to hit them because they are great warriors. Five hits. That's to wound because of the same rule. One save. Six. And the sorcerer. Same idea. Fives. Is that sorcerer oh, Zinch or? It's Zinch. Fours. Didn't matter. Three wounds. Four save. Oh, nice. Uh, no, oh, one, one. one damage. Look at that. You got, you want to do the Demon Prince? Yeah, we're going to go with the Demon Prince. <laughs> He's going to be so sad. Watch this. <laughs> Threes and fours. Threes one and fours, one damage. It's awesome. <laughs> uh, a couple misses. <laughs> Demon Prince. Very sad. Oh, so depressing. Did no wound. Not a thing. It means, no, it means I do no more wounds to your back. Okay, my pick, I, I'll just go with the uh, big guy there. He's going to attack everything into the warriors, and I'll all that attack. Uh-huh. Bloodthirst is do the mouth attack first. Threes. Ah. There we four, go. Fours, though, because you're Nurgle. It matter for one of them. These are rend three, but rend two against you. And these are five ups. Every fail is three damage. Hmm. Yeah. No mystic shield or defense to help him out, sadly. Oh, you still get two, though. Very good. So then Mark and Nurgle saved you three damage. So, or regular visions, though. Because I can't stop that. So that's three, three damage so, so far. Sword like claws. Threes to hit. A few misses. And fours to wound because of the Mark and Nurgle. Ah, there you go. Only one going through. And you have the one save. One yes, save. Yes, one Here save. Should just be a three up. Good. That's four. A four. Sorry. Yep. That was weird. Hard to see. Uh, four attacks on the Lance. Oh, my God. I'm my Ooh. body. Not my body. <laughs> These are going to be four ups after everything is said and done because it's Ren 2. Oh, I am. Nice. Two. That's only that's four damage, which you can ward. So, boop, boop, boop. Sixes. Three more damage, so it just kills two more two guys. guys. So Not this guy's going to die here. Bam, bidi, bam, bidi, bam, bam, bam. This guy way over here is going to die. Excellent. That's it for me. You get to just go ahead and do these in any order you want. Roger's going to pile into some zombies. Nine attacks into the zombies. Wham. Hitting on fours. Wounds. Watch your bones. Two wounds? Two wounds. No rand, I assume. Rand. Hey, fail both of those. And, well, one dies. I'm going to have one die near the sorcerer. And the sorcerer is okay. All right, then the sorcerer's <laughs> going to go. The sorcerer's going to go. <laughs> Hit. Or, do you, or is that the amount of attacks? This is this is the, uh, oh, the nerd staff. staff. Yeah. Rend of anything? It has rend of one. How much damage? D3. Roll it up. One. One more. I might as well do the uh, two stabby attacks. Two stabbies. This guy's gonna die over there. It's that one hit. Huh. One wound. A rend. Uh, and then two saves. Two more die. I'll have, I guess, this one. And this one's gonna die. And they're okay. gonna try and take out the sorcerer. And sorcerer takes two more wounds. He doesn't have any. Just one He's wound left. Dead. He had three wounds left. No, he had three wounds on him. Right. Oh! He's counting the other way. Oh, oh that's right. I did three damage earlier. That's right. He has five wounds. He's I dead. killed the sorcerer! <gasps> Means I get a zombie on it. Two up. Yeah, it's a, it's a zombie now. So these two guys die. I'll have a zombie add up to the unit over here. Might matter. Well, that means... Oh, wait, no, I died. Um, I don't get the zombie back. I have to kill you with an attack. That was an ability. Oh. The drag down and torn apart. Still exciting. Okay. I think that's it. I don't think I can fail morale. I lost like a like a, a paltry amount of zombies. Paltry? I don't know. I, could I lost birds. Here. You could fail over here. I'm yep. going to use my last command point to... Zombie dragon oh, he can't spy. Two. No, no. Oh, he well, it. it does both of those technically. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a terror rule, so you got to roll battle shock. Okay. Seven dead. What are you bravery eight? I'm bravery eight. Yeah. So, so D six I... minus one are running. Whoa. One. Not one. bad. That's perfect. So I didn't do as much damage as I wanted. I got my five points. That's pretty damn good. But 
there's a big moment coming up. Yes. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Not bad, not bad. Uh, that will give me five points for holding that objective and that objective. And I hold this objective with a vampire, this objective with summonable units. That will give me the five I need. Still going to be down by three. We're going to go to the fourth battle round. And we got ourselves a priority roll off here. Mm -hmm. Um... I don't mind losing the priority here. Not much at all, actually. I'm in a not bad spot. These guys are obviously going to be a problem depending on what they end up doing. But overall, I'm in a good spot with both of these objectives. So it's not bad. It'll put you in a, it still puts you in a pickle, I think. And I actually don't even know if I want to win priority because I don't want, if I want to win priority, I want him to be free to go and fight them. That would be the ideal situation. I got a four. Two. Now I have to think, because part of me wants to give it to you, because you're all, you're debuffed, and you're tied up in a lot of places. This objective is already yours. You'd have to fight to take this one back. Mm -hmm. And the chosen could do it, because they're gonna fight the zombie dragon, or just move on to it. I don't know if you could retreat and take it. I mean, they could obviously come over here and help, but mm -hmm. I think uh, I'm gonna go for it and gamble on a debuffing these guys, or just rolling well on spells. Like if I get another spell turn, then they're not that much of a threat anymore, because of uh, reasons. Uh, I could Von Hell's Dance Macabre as well. It'll give you a uh, double cast with that wizard over there, but that's okay. He's not looking so hot. So I'll take it. I'll take it. See what's up. That goes away. Pretty much everything goes... You keep Oracular Visions here. Mm -hmm. And there. And Mystic Shield and Oracular Visions there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. I think I'm going to take it just because if I don't, I run the risk of these guys just boiling on the zombie dragon and they end up taking the objective back. You're getting five points again. If I get points here, I can buff them up with Mystic Shield, keep them a little bit safer, hopefully. Deal with this stuff. Debuff them before they have too much of a chance to pounce on me with my double Necromancers and try and save a Necromancer's life by running them towards zombies as well. So it's the, it's the right call. And uh, let me get five points again and keep me in the game for scoring and then try to limit what you got available. So it'll be turn four for the Soul Blight. I always feel a little bad because the double death turn can be pretty miserable to uh, experience and deal with. Primal magic! One, six. Okay, we got one each. Kind of what we're looking at. I only got two command points, though. It's the one downside. And, uh, well, Kendra gets to pick a sorcerer to cast two spells with. One over here will cast two spells. Otherwise... I'm going to use uh, him, turn him into a wizard. Uh, the, uh, bu 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 uh, like a heroic action for willpower? Yep. Oh, unbinding, that makes sense. Yeah, because you only have the one. Absolutely. My battle tactic will be to intimidate the invaders. I have to have more of my starting units out of my territory than in my territory. The only starting unit I have in my territory is this guy, and he'll be out of it uh, later. So I'll just get that one out of the way now while I can. And then my action will be to... Uh, the... With another Immortal Majesty on him, just keep uh, keep the command points locked down. You get to pick a phase for me to spend more command points in. I'm going to pick combat phase. Combat phase, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, they... I do have to do Deathly Invocations now, I suppose. Who wants to heal? I guess... He's going to pick them. He is going to pick them, and that's about it. So just those two units. They're pr I'll, I'll, let me do some measure. They're not holding. This unit's not holding within twelve of anything. So this unit will be a target, and then this unit will be a target. Uh, this unit is going to be outside of twelve of a gray side. So they're getting three. They're getting four. Adding four around this guy to bolster his defenses. Hurry, curse you. Getting a few more there. And then we're going to go ahead and cast some spells, which are going to be very critical, obviously. This one knows Waste Away. He'll cast Waste Away. Uh, just to... It's a six. I'm going to add my Primal Magic Dice to this one. Two. All right. Well, I got it with an eight. This one's very important to stop. So I'm going to go with that guy? Yes. He's going to try. Four. Oh. You need a five up on the Primal Magic Die. Ah. Oh. Good luck. Damn. Nope. All right, that neuters. That makes him damage one and minus one to wound. A rough one for Chosen. We might as well just make it even more miserable. Let's go Fading Vigor. Ah, oh, reroll that. It's too important to not. Yeah, eight. It's good to stop. He's going to try. Yep, need a nine. Ten. All right, perfect. Uh, then the last. But that does mean I can cast Mystic Shield with him, I guess. To yeah, keep you can try. Safe-ish. Got it with a seven. Yep. So he'll be a little more defensive on your punch back. Hopefully Waste Away is enough. I mean, it should be. It should be. That's the most effective one. 
And that will be it for my spell casting. I don't think I have anything else. I healed things. So I'm going to go to movement. This is all done because it's not moving much. I can move these guys over this way, I guess. I got to stay three away from them. But that's about all I'm going to do just to get slightly more guys on the objective, I guess. We're not supposed to be within three of that guy. Hey, look at that. Uh, we're going to run Dumb Wizard here uh, just to tuck away four. Just a couple necromancer homies. You know they went to the same school together? They've been practicing the dark arts for hundreds of years together. Let's do the rest of my moves, which is, uh, okay, well, I guess we're done. These guys are just going to stay where they are. They don't really need to do much. Then we're going to see if my dogs show up on the three up. They do. We got five dogs. These dogs are going to reanimate near this grave site. I uh, can't charge this turn, but put them, actually just put them all in that little nook there. We're right, right closer towards you, yeah. I don't want them to be caught out by too much. I want them to be able to move on turn five. It's going to go kind of far away. I want them just to be able to run on the objective for later if I need it. Uh, part of me, a dark part of me wants to charge them in here just so, uh, <laughs> my, but I don't know. I think you might be able to kill them all. That is neither here nor there. We're going to fire our pestilential breath into these chaos warriors. One shot. Uh-oh. It's going to be a hit and a wound. Minus one. Four up. No! What is the, I can't do Three. It. Three? That's uh, three damage. They got a racular vision still. Nope, I kills one and a half. The guy in the middle there, he breathed in the pestilential breath. That's the one thing you don't do. He just didn't listen. Don't do it! Don't uh, do it, Freddy! Uh, these guys have the two attacks normally. They have three attacks normally. Three. Threes and threes. Well, fours and threes. Could all that attack. The math is just not great for these zombies. But to tie them up for one more turn would be so cash oh, money. I want to do. You can rally. Sorry, there's always that. I, uh, either one, whichever unit you want to do. I think I'm gonna go with the knights just because it's more attacks. Oh, I get hey, one. Hey, one knight comes back for a command point. What was your action? Oh, willpower. I am definitely not charging now. That's all yours. Those zombies is gonna chill. Okay. Can you uh, just make sure I'm outside of three there. That's oh, the fair. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Look at that. Done. And uh, we're on to fighting. I would like to fight first over here still, weirdly enough. I don't think anything else really matters too much. We all know what Demon Princes do. He doesn't just clap those zombies. He's just gonna be like, wham! <laughs> Suddenly 10 zombies die. Bam. I want, no, I wanna kill these guys. Oh, these guys aren't gonna be able to fight. They're just gonna, oh, this guy can fight. And this guy's just gonna, oh, brains. 14, <laughs> yeah, they're cold and wet. They smell warm. 14 of them attacking, 28 attacks. This twice, same procedure, fives and fives because of Nurgle. If only I had some, I'll just roll it again. Got four hits. In addition to four hits, we have eight hits. Look at that. That's Whoa. pretty damn close to the average. Five to wound because the Nurgle. Uh, ooh, hey, four wounds still. That's not nice. the average. Stick shield. Four up saves. That smells like two more zombies to me. That's at the end of the combat phase, though. Got him. Your pick. It's going to be the Demon Prince. No oh, negatives on him. He can shine. This is his time. Ooh. ooh one miss. That's not bad. Ooh. ooh. And Three. nice. Hey, three. that's six damage? Yeah, damage. Six entire damage. Never mind, it's three damage. Uh, Maybe I mortal wounds back at him. I'm going to do these guys, I guess. Those three at him. I'll leave these here for morale. I don't think it'll matter. And you suffer nothing back. Then my pick. Let's go with these zombies here, I guess. Okay. Let's go with these five attacking that direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine attacking that direction. The little dumb attacks. The zombies into... This is the sorcerer, sorry. Uh, is not negative one hit. So we got six, sorry, five hits on the first half. Five hits plus, ooh, three hits, eight hits. And then that's going to be, are you, there's Zinch on that one, right? Yeah. Fours. Four wounds. Fours. Uh-oh. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> the sorcerer dies and will become oh, a... Oh, he's got two wounds. Sorry, I was counting up over Okay, here. yeah, sorry. Wounds remaining will be two. He has he has two wounds remaining. Now. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, and then we have the five attacks this way. Fives, fives, fives into the Nurgle Warriors. And fives, fives, fives because they're Nurgle Warriors. Nothing. Turn. I, I guess I, I, I'm going to go over here. Sure. Absolutely. The stick Woo! hits. Nerd stick. Hit wounds. Uh, rend Minus one. one. So D3 damage. D3. Two. Two. Excellent. Do the little stabby knife. The stabby knife. Two hits. Yeah. One wound. One wound. Oh, that's a six up safe. That's three damage. I'm going to ward it. I take two. I'll have the two over here die. And so you take, you do a thing. And two mortal wounds. One wound left. 
Excellent. Um, now he is down to one wound. Now he's got one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, that is it for those that uh, your wizard attack. Because that was your attacks. I get to go. I will fight with these zombies. And attacks in the Demon Prince six into the Warriors of Chaos. <laughs> Here's all of the attacks into the Warriors. We got a couple of hits there, mostly missing. Naturally, one wound on the Warriors of Chaos. Huh. And oh my a God! Miraculous really? vision. <gasps> That's a zombie. That's a dead guy. I'm gonna do a two up just to do it now because it's not gonna matter otherwise. I'm just gonna add a zombie to the unit. A chaos warrior zombie. Boom. We'll put him right there. I know it's at the end, but it shouldn't matter at this point. And then the nine attacks this way. Damn sorcerers become a demon prince. It's just been like clogging me up over here. A nothing. Warrior time. We got four warriors left. Three attacks because they're fighting over an objective they don't control. Two into uh, this. Two into there. Yeah. Hiya! Should be Ooh. threes and threes, I guess, suppose. Yeah, four wounds. Four wounds. Back to my three up because of Mystic Shield. We're good. Yep. Seven attacks into my zombies. <laughs> okay, that's not great. Nope. Is that two hits? And one, one, wound. one wound. Ward, it's dead. Into the Demon Prince. No, it's just dead. Oh. I thought you were going to go. Oh, it's not over there. Darn. That's a different unit. I thought you were going to go over there. I would love to. I'd love to. Fighting forever. The only attack I have left is the Zombie Dragon. All under the Warriors of Chaos. I am... I'm not gonna bother with all that attack here. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna use it. I'm finally gonna all out defense. It cost you, oh, it cost you two. <laughs> That's true. Ooh, ah, oh, I got a roar, sorry. Huh. Ah, you're good. There you go. I forgot to do my rampage. No, I did it. No, I didn't do my rampage. That's right. We're two command points for all out defense because uh, Legion of Blood have a busted heroic action. Do the bites. I am gonna save my command points for other things. These are uh, forced hits. We got two hits there. And mm, nice, Nurgle helping you out. Really want to kill them that much, I suppose, at this point. Uh, for, ooh, all that attack would have been spicy there. One save at a two up. I get it with a five. Got that it. Is a five. <laughs> I promise. All out, yeah, I see that. Your all out defense has done nothing. Nope. <laughs> These are the lance attacks, which are twos, uh, no matter what, because you're the doomed unit. Mm -hmm. And two more wounds. Uh, rend one, all out defense, so you have two three ups. Oh. No! <laughs> That's uh, two damage. You got oracular visions. Huh. No! All right. One more Poor warrior guy. goes down. I killed three. Eh? All right. right there. There's three warriors left. That is it. You get to fight back with marauders. Marauders. Eight of them left. They're going to swing at the zombies. It's an epic duel on this ramp here. Zombies and marauders. Hey, yeah. Hey, that wasn't too That's bad. not bad. And fours. Sure. Five up. Or six up. And then ward. Three die. I'll just have three from that side die. And you take two mortal wounds. Boom, boom, boom. <sighs> so I kill. I end up killing. You three mortal wounds? Two. Two mortal wounds. I killed four. Uh, and then pretty much at the end of the combat phase, do I get two zombies back? One zombie is going to join the unit. I lost not enough to worry about a battle shock. So I'll put another that zombie here. It's a marauder zombie. Well, that will bring us to battle shock. Can you fail on these? I can't fail anywhere. I lost like two zombies, three zombies, three zombies, three, three, these three. These guys fail on a six, so I'll do there. Yeah, get them out of the way. That's a three. Nope. They're good. They're sticking around. Uh, over there, you killed th four. Yeah. So their leadership is five plus banner six. So. All right. Looking for a two up to pass. One or two to pass. Okay. Darn. Four run. Four are gone. They're still in it though. Two are left lingering. Putting pressure. We've got pressure. We've got pressure kind of everywhere on the objectives. It's not bad. Uh, as for the rest of it, that's kind of all she wrote, folks. I get five points. One objective, two objectives, battle tactic. Mm -hmm. And then that is it. We're going to go to turn four for the Warriors of Chaos, the Slaves of Darkness, a.k.a. Kendrick. <laughs> Let's see what Primal Magic Dice are looking like. What are you getting? Nothing. Nada. 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 No magic. Primal Magic Dice. We're just going to tick up our command points and take a look at this. So uh, I am up by two. But Kendrick has his turn now, uh, and he will be able to do some battle tactics and at least get one victory point. So he's going to get three no matter what, but he's going to fight for that five points, I think, here. It's a new day for Kendrick and I as so we move on to the second day for this game. <laughs> I had, I had a, we didn't have enough time to finish yesterday because we had to kind of short. I had to go to the stream a little bit. And naturally, with a zombie list, it's going to take a little bit longer to play. you got to play them kind of meticulously, and they take a while to move every single little model. So what is the battle tactic to, for turn four? And for everyone watching, Kendrick has two very easy-to-do battle tactics for turn four and five. It's going to come down to play on the objectives, I think. Yeah. 
So my battle tactic for this one is going to be retreat two, charge two. I don't remember what that one's called. Bait and trap. Yeah, that's the one. So get Haven't this very useful demon prince out of here. Useful yep. in the form of getting you victory points. Yeah. And then there's another unit somewhere that can retreat. Oh, over here. The I can retreat them, and technically he's still alive. That's true. The sorcerer could retreat as well. Yep. With yeah. one wound. So he got lots of options there, and obviously you have more than two units to charge with. He got four right here, easy charges. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's only those four, technically, <laughs> but they're all they're all options for charging. Yep. I know I don't want to treat them because I don't want him going anywhere. Yeah, you don't want him to be free. He's uh I was that's one of my regrets in this game was kind of showboating and going for the, the uh, them. I wanted to go for them, but I was too afraid of dying right away. Like just bouncing off their armor and then you just being like, I'm, I'm going to fight you and I'm going to fight you again. Now your dragon's dead and you lose yeah. the game. I was so, too worried about risking that. So I, did, I don't mind this outcome. Yeah, and I, I think right now them being weakened like they are is a very important. Oh, I'm feeling confident about <sighs> it, but you still do get a fight twice. So I do, and yeah. I'm going to have to try it this turn. It's going to be big. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what do you want to do for your heroic actions? And my stuff? heroic action, I'm going to try to get a command point with him. Where did I put my dice? Over here. Boy, that makes sense. I was zoning over a second. Four! Get Excellent. It. Nice. Hooray. That's, That's good. not bad. I put you at three available ones. I got three yeah. myself. I only really need. Th well, ooh. If I got leadership, I could unleash hell with him confidently. But it's a D6 amount of attacks, and I don't like to rely on that. I could probably get more out of. The Immortal Majesty right makes he can't all out defenses easily, but I think you're trying to go for the kill on him, really. That's what I'm going to try. Hmm. Well, I'm going to go for Immortal Majesty all the same, but I'm going to do Hypothetical Leadership. Ah, good. Good call, Luca. <laughs> <laughs> the, um... Oracular Oracular Visions. Visions. Right back on them. Yes. Because that's the only unit that's within range. Uh, that's your only source for now? Yes. Yeah, he's, he's the only one left. The sole um, survivor. Yeah. And then I think I'm going to try to do... Uh, and we have no Primal Magic dice either. Oh, we got to roll for... Did we, no, we no, didn't. We did we that rolled, we didn't yeah. get any. Because they're the only choice. Mystic Shield on the Warriors there. They're holding within 12. Got an 8. I might as well try and stop it. Yeah. Uh, my guy does not get plus 1 to Dispel. He's just... I need to roll a 9. Uh, 5. That's not going to do it. Okay. Got Mystic Shield on the Warriors. Those guys are still alive. Yeah, they're kicking. Pretty much the hero phase. Should be a pretty quick turn, because we're just going to retreat the Demon Prince, and I assume we're going to retreat those Marauders. Yep, that's my... And then uh, we'll be right back. I'll move the rest of my Chosen, but you can do it. Yeah, they're going to retreat that way. The Lord on Kakadrak. Kakadrak is going to start going towards the zombies there. And then the Chaos Lord shifts over towards the objective. And so do come the Chaos Knights. And what I'm surprised, I thought these guys were going to go for some zombies. But these guys are coming up and around these Chosen. We're going to go Chosen, Chaos Knights, and Chaos Lord into the zombie dragon, it looks like. And then for the Demon Prince, he doesn't have wings, so he climbed up, the, or he ascended this rock here to retreat from the zombies because he wants to survey the battlefield instead of being tied up with yeah. zombies for the rest of the battle. So that's the second retreat. The Chosen move from here to there. They're in the river. They're coming underneath. They're going to fight him. Boom, boom, boom. That way, that way. Um, and then they're the last move. I don't really have any redeploys or anything, so we're good. We're just going to... I might I might unleash hell with that one command point I have. Because mm -hmm. I need two for an all-out defense because of uh, the broken... You might need to. Might need to, yeah. It's going to bring us right to charging. Where would you like to start? Start off here. Mr. Lord, that's a nine. Hello and welcome. We got mortal wounds on the big guy, I suspect. Yep, D3 on the charge. Or on the two. D3. Hits and does one. one. My, oh my. Ah, uh, it's a dead zombie. Blech. Blech. There we go. I'm going to change the Carcadrack Lord to block over here a little bit better, just so I can't sneak my way into the Marauders there. No need to do nasty tactics. Okay, uh, Bob, where do you want to charge next? I guess I'm going to start with the Knights. Mr. Knights, here you go. One of these dice gets to change to a four, so you kind of want a high roll. There you go, ten. That's great. Perfect. That gives a lot more area for the Chosen to come in. I will unleash Hell on them, hopefully killing one if I'm lucky. Because I don't nice. think I need any more command points. Not going to unleash Hell, that would be cheating. I, I forgot I'm engaged with the Warriors here. Chosen, plus two to the charge. Unearthly reflexes and jealous. Ooh, ten. Let's go. We're going to try the Chaos Lord charge now. He's got a long ball. Day, hey, perfect. There we go. I was Please. insistent that we let him go in first, but he's going to make it all the same. I like it. Good, good, good. It works out. 
So I got to deal with the Chaos Lord, Chaos Knights, and Chosen. And warriors. And there are <laughs> some warriors right here. That's true. That's true. So in normal circumstances, I'd be like, ah, oh, this is scuffed. This is over. But I'm feeling weirdly confident about well, it. Well, you have a lot. Yeah. Yeah. This is, you know what? We got a good piece right here. I'm going to roar at the Chaos Knights. Or try to roar. That's a roar. It works. They're Chaos two. Knights are unaffectable. They are unaffectable? They can't, well, no. Oh, I, thought, I, thought, I, 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 I can't. Sorry, I cannot touch them with a, with a thought, Are they immune to roar? No. No, no, no. That, well, that would be a weird rule. That'd be kind of cool. They cannot be roared. I'd like the that. Monster Hunter rule from the very first bo book. Oh, right? I forgot about that. Yeah. yeah. That was about, oh, God. That was my favorite. Yeah. Because I hated roar so much. So I just put on the things I needed. Bone Reapers can't be roared at. That was nice. That was yeah. a good time. They got rid of that. And then Luca was sad. Okay. Well, that's. Uh, they can't be ordered, which so is nice. I gotta go over here because he's got always strikes first, so we'll go with him when we get back. We'll see what he's got going. And extra attacks for K-Horn. Boop. Okay. Not great. It's a rough start. We got two hits, and these are going to be wounding on probably threes. Threes. So uh, going to go right through my armor. How much damage for those? It's two each. That's four damage so far with the hex hack. Demon bound blade. Ooh, demons. Ooh, good start. No, no sixes, though. Uh, no sixes, so no extras. Mm. And then threes again. Okay. So that's three. These are. I got random enough to go through. Yeah, it's three D three. So that's pretty good. Six it is. Fours and threes. Ooh. Oh, good start. Awesome. When this guy pops off. This guy pops off. Threes. Woo. Threes. Okay, four of them. More random. So one damage each. It's two. More two. Okay. And there's no rent, so You do get your. Oh, order. I get my. That's fair. 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 Sixes. Not a one. That's eight more damage. Red. Eighteen damage on that unit of zombies. There was a rend. That's okay. And Ward, I'm gonna make a good amount of these. I'm gonna, well, they're dead. Uh, I mean, I lost 17. I don't know what I had there. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15 ish. All right, so they're all gonna die, and the ones within three are gonna try and do some damage to this guy. Looks like you got six to swing at him. Yeah, it looks like six. Probably, s this guy's probably within three as well. I bet, yeah. Devin, you suffer a mortal wound, but you have a ward against it. I do. And it's five up. Nope, oh, I take it. One damage. All right, That's not bad, down. not bad at all. He's got one wound on him. And uh, that's his strikes first, so we get to move on. So to then I gotta else. go to the knight, because he's gonna trigger the knights. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they're within, they got the 12, so. And then I uh, forgot to show up this Chaos Horse for Lord did back away as well as the third retreat. Yep. Okay, let's see what they can do. They're Hopefully gonna a lot. pile in a little bit, but they sh all the lances can attack, but it looks like some Only of the horses. Two horses yeah. Yeah. Definitely gonna go into a defensive stance with the zombie dragon on a three up. It cost me two, though. It does. It does. All right, I got one command point left. Boris to hit. Hiya! See if that great weapon skill of theirs comes in handy. Couple threes, not a big deal. Overall, pretty good roll. Ooh. And these are wounding on threes? Twos, because the corn banner. That's right, the corn banner, the ensorcelled banner. Nice! That's all. Ren two, but I got Mystic Shield and all the defense comes with three ups. Oh, there we go, perfect. That's not a great roll. <laughs> oh, Seven. perfect, I thought you did well! No, it's <laughs> 14 damage so far. Okay, well. <laughs> Anomalies are in the game. Uh, Ward, these are two damage? Yeah. Yeah, so first we take six, or we take, we pass two of them, and we pass three more. So uh, the Ward saves helped out. Yep. Just nine damage on him so far. Four C's. Not much. And two. That's one. One wound. One wound. Two up. We're good. There you go. After the Chaos Knight's attack, breaking through his armor, we got seven wounds left on our uh, dragon. So, the Chaos Lord's gonna, now you're done your first strike picks, technically. Yep. The Chaos Lord's gonna be your first pick, which will then trigger the Chosen to attack. So you're just gonna, you'll be able to attack with pretty much everything. The Chaos go. Lord. Good start. That's pretty good. This is not the Demon Bomb Blade, so there's no mortals on this. Yeah, I figured. Usually, that one's always done second. Uh, yep. And then that, so that's three, I'm gonna double check. Reaper Blade is minus two, three ups. Oh, failing another one. Two damage, you said? Yes, sir. Lord. Got to take one. So who's left on him? And then the demon bound blade. Demon bound blade. No, no mortals. Sixes. Not bad. And two wounds. Two wounds minus one. So you get your two up. Twos. One. Oh, I got. Oh, come on. Is it yeah, one damage? It's one damage. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Just the six then. And then the chosen get to go. Now the six of them are able to fight. So I'm gonna use because right now this thing does minus one to wound minus one to damage, correct? Correct, yeah. So I'm gonna use his ability, uh, because he's an undivided champion of chaos, oh, to slay thing. the worthy foe. <laughs> so they're gonna get plus one to wound. That's the command ability? Yeah. Yeah. That's what they get, they hit on threes. Yep. There's back to threes and threes, essentially. Yep. Two mortals, not bad. They can't get on in there. And then the threes. Oh, damn, nice roll. Well, two up save, though. 
Uh, one fail, and then two mortal wounds. I got four wounds left. You got the swing again? Yep, I'm gonna yeah. have to choose to let the despoilers despoil. Uh, they, that'll be with the strike's last effect. So that means my dragon does get to swing and does get to do damage and heal before they fight again. We'll do that a little bit later though. Uh, I think I will go with just these zombies here, I guess, are gonna pile on. I'm trying to think uh, of what I would like to do here. No, these zombies are gonna be the ones to go. Oh, they can't really pile in too much though because of the split. So I'm gonna have some of them come in this way. I'm gonna get six attacking. Fives to hit. Fives to wound, got three of them. Bam, nothing. Gonna be the warriors. Nice. So three attacks into the big guy. Perfect. Got a couple hits, nice. Bring him down farther. Could, could work, could work. One, one wound, two up. Oh, five, we're good. And then, oh, I got one, one more attack with him because that objective I don't control. Oh, true, yeah, yeah. Hits. A wound. Wounds. Nice. Uh, ooh. What? Oh, he's got three wounds left. Look at that. Nice. Excellent. All right, and then these two guys, I'm gonna put all into this unit. Sure. Works for me. Bam. Should be threes and threes. So many zombies go down here. I won't have a save, so it's gonna be three dead zombies, which I'll just ward. Bam. Two of them are zombies. Two are gonna die. I'll put the two die over here mm -hmm. and do a mortal wound to you, and you have a five up. Here we go. Nope. Okay, one damage there. So this zombie will die, and so will this zombie. So this guy over here. Dragging him down and tearing him apart. I will go with these zombies I got right here, I suppose. I got them piling in. Three, I'll just do seven. I'm all you. And fives. And fives. Not really worth rolling. It's not going to amount to much. Two more saves. Uh, they should be two, two ups because of Mystic Shield. Oh, nice. Wow! Oracular Visions. Oraculars. Okay. That's... I this guy dies. Kill a guy with those zombies there. That was weird. Didn't expect that. Uh, sorry, these zombies here. <laughs> on a, on a two up, I get a zombie in the unit. There you, you go. You get another zombie. That's another chaos where you're joining the fray. They really need the zombie anywhere. Could use the help going over this way, but I can't retreat and charge with them. So it's all good. We, what do we got here? We got like two, three wounds of chaos warrior left in that unit. Yep. Not so bad. Not so bad. Uh, then my zombie dragon's going to go, I guess, because I think I've attacked with everything. You have. He is going to attack... I don't know if it really matters either way. They're both the exact same stats. Attacking the chosen will yeah. negate some of the attacks coming back at you. I have to Maybe. do. I have to kill th a three chosen for that to be true. So I'll go for the chosen. The other reason I choose the chosen because they're doomed minions. My vampire gets plus one to hit them, or he always hits them on two. So I'll hit attack with the lance from a pie. They all hit. Didn't matter with the plus one wound, and they're not Nurgle. So uh, I wound once, unfortunately. Minus two. They have a five up. They have a five up. Oh, perfect. That's a really good start. Uh, I would have had four attacks with a snapping maw because we're bloodthirsty. Couple of hits. Couple of wounds. Ren three. That'll help. Six up. Six is... Nope. Ooh, that is two dead chosen because that's three damage each. That heals the vampire up to nine. It'll be after his attacks though. I still have five attacks with the claws because I'm really bracketed and I get plus one to the attack. Two hits and one wound. Ren one. Four up. Good. Very good. Just that. Uh, then his attacks resolved. He heals the amount of wounds he dealt up to six. He dealt exactly six. Uh, didn't quite kill enough Chosen to negate the attacks, but whatever. Killing a couple of them. So he's up to nine, though. Back at the Chosen with the strikes last. It's last in the resolve here on this turn. Bum, 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 bum. Hello. That was Lots of hits. Four of them are mortal wounds. And then the wound rolls again on threes because of the command ability. Not dead. Four mortal wounds. And one fail, he'll live. Boom, he is a tough cookie to crack. Takes five, he would have died if he didn't heal six. Uh, but hey, so would most things, <laughs> I guess. So nine down to four again, right? Yeah, that's how it yep. works. Boom. Look at this objective and this objective and your battle tactic for five points. So you're still up by three. There's not much I can really do about it other than um, I would need, I mean, I got some, there's some potential. There's definitely some potential in my turn. We'll see, though, on priority, because that's where we're at currently. hi yeah, I got a four on priority. Oh, there you go. I'm going to take it. Yeah, yeah, you can get, uh, is there anything I need to do here? I think I can just throw in the towel there. I can't risk the vampire lord actually dying. I don't want to see him removed out of the table, so. <laughs> he might not, because he'll have the debuff still, and he won't have the charge effect. He probably wouldn't die, honestly, but... Uh, unless you retreated and had him come in, maybe, but 
So you get your five points. I know that. I could probably get five points, maybe maybe four, but that won't get me enough points, and I won't be able to kill all your battle line off. So I'll just throw. And I'm definitely there. not killing all yours. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and in the mini war gaming vault. We continue our Age of Sigmar adventures. This match will be between Luca and Matt. It's two thousand points. Osiric Bone Reapers against Ogre Ma Tribes, and I'll be playing the Ma Tribes as the Meat Fish Tribe. So we got an old school Warhammer Fantasy Battle Ogre list against the new Bone Boys, the Osiric Bone Reapers. Available to our YouTube and Vault members. If you are not one, all you have to do is click on the link down below to sign up for a seven day free trial where you'll have access to it as well as the rest of the content we have in the vault. Thanks again for checking out this video. Enjoy it, and I'll catch you all next time very soon. In the in the interest of time, I'll throw in the towel on this one. I, I'm sure I could figure out something. I Maybe. can honestly tell you right now, the knights are going to drop off. Yeah. He's going to go in. The knights are going to block you here so that these guys can't go and take an objective from me. Yeah, that's what I would do, too. And then yeah. that way you only get one objective. I would recommend that as well. That's mostly why I'm conceding, because I can't. If I was to do that, I don't see a way. These guys could get an extremely good run, but they would. I would recommend you just block with them as well. I probably would try. Yeah. Put uh, like, uh, you'd be, uh, I guess you don't want to risk it. Because, uh, there's a, there's a, I would, the distance to stop a charge and also stop a run kind of thing, like rally and... Because yeah. of the way that these guys can move, because they're getting the plus one movement, because the band, this dude's still here, yeah. I can get to where I can get, push you outside of six. Yeah, you're gonna wipe them, but well, you don't want to risk me charging onto the objective though. Well, either. but then I, yeah. but then if yeah, you want to be up here, yes. Yeah, because their their regular move is six plus a minimum of two inches. So yeah, good. So I yeah, can, they. You, I would just have to double, honestly. I yeah. have to double them up here just so I can't move. So I'd stop them there. I'd retreat them over there. And then body uh, block, yeah. Body block, and then he would just come in and maybe kill. But that's unimportant. That doesn't matter as much. Nope. Uh, if the vampire dies or not, this guy's not going to do much, I suppose. But you'll get your points all the same. Yep. So that'd be five points there. I'd get a few points. Now the one to get a grand strategy, and that would be the end of the game. Good game. Lost a lot of zombies. Didn't lose a thing I cared about. I'm curious if. <laughs> Let's. Uh, I'll, I'll let you quickly do see. I want to see if that guy can kill him or not. Okay. Yeah. So we'll we'll come back when we're at that fight phase, right? Ah, uh, don't even bother moving. Everything. Oh, you just, just want to roll. Just it? go right to it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's because nothing dice. else matters. Yeah. I'm gonna see if you can do it. Ah, uh, you do the impact oh. hits too. Yep. I got four wounds. I got mystic shield. I'm trying to think huh. of anything I would do. It not hits. Really. Boom, boom, boom. One mortal. One mortal. Four. I got three wounds left. Okay. And then his axe. Boom, boom, boom. boom. A. Good start. I would obviously all out defense again. And then I would roar at the chosen, I guess. See if that matters. It does. So you can't roar at them, yeah. And then keep going. Those are the his of the wounds. Those are the wounds. Minus so one. Minus one right now. Twos. Two damage? That's two damage. Uh -oh. He's done one wound. Oh yeah, he's got one. That's not great. So then the big the axe. The sword, I mean. The one of those mortals on sixes. Ooh. Nothing from that. For mortals. But it's got a good rend. So oh. one at minus two. Three up. Oh, there you go. D3. Hey, he's dead. dead. Yeah. Dead. He did not want to make any saves. The second he failed ten saves against the Chaos Knights, I'm like, oh, okay, well, it's not real. <laughs> this ain't real. What is this nonsense? The What's the point? Statistics rolled against you. What's the point of save stacking if you're just going to roll bad? Anyways, folks, that is it for this one. Kendrick and I have to go and get ready for another game, which we will be doing on the channel very soon after this one, probably like a week or two. Uh, you'll be playing Chaos Against Trolls. I'll believe, be playing yeah. Ogres Against Bone Reapers. And uh, stay tuned for those games. Great game, Kendrick. I'm All the same. Come up. It came down to the last turn, as usual, which is ideal in uh, the games I play here. I do like the zombie list. I'll play it again in the future. That's a fun list. It, yeah. it is mean. It, uh, it's, I need, it's definitely lacking a couple of pieces, but uh, it's not so bad. It's not think, so bad. I think a little bit of list, list tweaking might be yeah. able to make it. I just don't have it. another corpse guard. Oh. The second corpse guard would be nice. Yeah. Just to make the zombies do mortal wounds when they attack. That's the big thing. You I just give so. them an all-out attack and they do mortal wounds on six to hit. It, it, it just doubles up their mortal wound output. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and then obviously it's, um, it's, a good, it's a good matchup too because you have the, the killing power to chew through them. This might have been a little bit rougher, say, you, if you were, like, only Chaos Warriors. Or yeah, if, if I was yeah. Warriors, I would have been in trouble. Because yeah, they don't have the punch power. Not not quite. To get, they would eventually get through the zombies, but not as fast as the Chosen. They were they were key, and so were they, because they were very mobile after colliding with zombie units. Yeah. Which is really nice to Well, the see. fact that you pulled off of my unit over there. Yeah. 
actually made it so that the uh, the knights were free to do as they wished. I did. I expect them to do literally mathematically zero damage on the charge. Really? Yeah, they should have. Yeah. I, I was thinking that they were going to be the thing that killed him. Like, if there was yeah. something that was going to kill him, it was yeah. going to be these guys. And then they were just going to mop up if they failed. Well, I was banking it on a roar. So they go in. They have, there's four guys. There's, uh, what is that, 12 attacks? Or is it, no, 16 it's, attacks. Yeah. It's, so you have eight hits, and then you have about six wounds, and then only one of those go through. True. On the on the out, uh, then, I, then I then well, I ward then I ward some. But of that, you yeah. do have a three up because yeah. they get the plus oh, two. Oh, sorry, two go through. Then I ward one, it's three damage, and then the horses might get one through, so four damage. So he's down to ten, and then they do some damage. And he heals back up to sixteen yeah. afterwards, right? You, yeah. you did you did have a very bad yeah. like that yeah. is absolutely true. So that's why I didn't mind freeing them up because I figured free them up, and then if I didn't lose priority, these guys could push for that. They could they were going to charge in here and get the objective back, so I could get a five point turn. But yeah. you won the priority and stopped it. But had I gotten a five point turn, I would have needed you to not get a five point turn, and that's where that's where I didn't know who was going to win because I think you still could have gotten a five point turn. I think so with this guy. So I think even if I won priority, none of none of what I was able to do would have mattered. Unfortunately, that's just yeah. the, that's just the nature of it. Because I probably would have just left my chosen in with you, back these guys off, prevent, yeah, or kill these or kill these guys with this. Yeah, that's if what you got we turned, would do. Yeah, and then these guys would have just been here to physically be bodies because. These guys don't count for objective scoring if I can back this guy off. Because yes. he's got the con the, con the Conqueror's oh, Helm. Yeah, yeah. So I would have backed him off, made it so these guys don't have... With that in mind, I would have just attacked him. <laughs> <laughs> I would have just killed him. I forgot he had that. Uh, yeah, so the hope was, had I won priority, they would come in, get the points, and then I, with the zombie dragon, kill some of this off. Yeah, absolutely. Ish, ish. Well, we'd have to, he'd have to roll well, though. He wasn't like, he was rolling defensively well, but not offensively well this game. No. I was hoping he'd crush a lot more in this game. He, he pretty much did all my killing, but I needed him to do a lot more heavy lifting. And uh, he did not quite. But next time, next time for him. We shall see. He will and do better. He will do better. You know what? I was happy with his durability, though. He rolled pretty well for 80, 80 like 90% of the game, durability-wise. Yeah, that, yeah. that one roll. That one roll. That was yeah. just one. Luckily, it didn't cost me the game because I think I was going to lose anyways. That's been, well, him dying on the priority roll is what was mostly the thing, yeah. Because had a, he would have been able to fight first and heal first as well, which is nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's it for this one, folks. We'll stay tuned for more Sigmar to come. Woohoo! Happy Wargaming, everyone. Woohoo!